Hello there, everyone. I assume this is working. I think it is. That's good. Uh, this is Naughty Moment 7. And today I am back with some more Rule of the Waves 2. Now, where we last left off, we were playing as Russia, fighting a war against Austria Hungary and Japan. And we have them both blockaded. I will uh, start up the display capture right now. So as you can see, yeah, the Japanese Navy has been pretty demolished. Well, the Austrian Navy, we haven't blocked, or Austro-Hungarian Navy, austro hung yeah, it would be Austro-Hungarian Navy. That is correct, but it's Austria-Hungary. Oh, well. The Austro-Hungarian Navy, um, there's, they still have some strength left. Now, one thing I'm worried about with Japan is they have three battle cruisers building right now. And all of these, two of these are supposed to have come online right now. I do remember they had, or there were messages that they had halted construction of their battle cruisers. I might actually go through and uh, see when those are. This one should be commissioning soon if they hadn't halted the construction of it. I mean, they have, but. Yeah, we go to our intel reports. This war's been going on 17 months, so that would be... It started in 1918. Uh, when would that have been? In 1918. Late 1918, so... There are indications that Japan is engaging in industrial espionage against Austria-Hungary. Hmm. Alright, so that's Japan halting construction of a battlecruiser right there. Ah, I need a tissue. Okay. So that's them increasing their funding. The Japanese shipbuilding industry is now equal to that of other nations. Okay, so this looks like about when the war took place. Or it could have been, you know, Austria Hungary. <laughs> but yeah, there's Japan increasing their naval spending, uh, base uses. So they've halted construction of one battle cruiser there in October. Um, so that's definitely the war is going on. There are indications that Austria Hungary has stolen technology and machinery development from us. I'm not surprised. Uh, so there's Japan halting construction of two battle cruisers again. So, Austria is having trouble constructing one of their minesweepers. That thing's probably already in service. It could have been sunk. Uh, Japan has halted construction of a battle cruiser due to financial difficulties. So that tells me that they restarted construction on one of them at some point in time. Or alternatively, the old one might have been for. Well, no, they would have had to start restart construction. So they've halted construction there again and halted construction there again. And then. Yeah, okay. So I'm not seeing any more. So this was the Austrian ship. BC Vorlberg. So right now, three of their ships are interned. One of their AMCs is interned. Uh, that cruiser is interned, and then Vorl Vorlberg is interned, which right now gives Austria or Austria Hungary three battle cruisers and a battleship they can bring against us. Although I can't click on the battleship, so I think they're rebuilding it. They're rebuilding that battleship, definitely. So right now it's just the battle cruisers. Just three of them here, I would think. Yeah, three battle cruisers. They're rebuilding that battleship right now. So I think what I want to do is if I look at ships in service. All right. So what in Northeast Asia? I have the two Imperator Alexander the Seconds. Um, one of the uh. Naya's Potemkins, and one of the Borodinos. Now, if Japan 
gets one of those new 32,000 ton battlecruisers into service. I'd like to have Borodino down there still to counter it. Because that is a pretty good counter. And I'd also like to have uh, Naya's Potemkin, as that could potentially also be a decent counter if the AI doesn't build their ship particularly well. But, right now, I don't think we need four battlecruisers over blockading Japan. Especially if they wind up completing their battlecruisers one at a time and we can sink them one at a time. So I'm going to move the battlecruiser Kinburn out to the Mediterranean and try to influence the balance there. Right now, the seaplane carrier Kazan is still in Northeast Asia. I will leave it there. We're currently trying to invade Northern Korea. We're going to get a couple more of these uh, heavy mines... Or we're going to get one or more of these heavy minesweepers done here this next turn. I'm going to put these guys all on trade protection right now. Just to get that up a bit more. Yeah, other than that, right now our uh, 900 and... 1100 and 1200 ton destroyers are part of the active fleet. Now, these guys are currently in Northern Europe. They're gonna be moved over to the Met. And they're worked up well enough to do such a thing. And I think we're gonna need them down there. Uh, we do need to get some more submarines, I think. So I'll build, uh, I'll build that. That looks good. Yeah, I think that'll work. So, my original intention was for this stream to be a little shorter than the uh, other ones. I don't know if it's going to be or not. i um, not getting any viewers right now, so that's not exactly uh, helping. That was the original intention, because I wanted to see the stream for the uh, Falcon Heavy launch. And what I'll probably have to do in the middle of this one is I'm probably going to have to wind up uh, going upstairs to put a bird up and uh, take care of his cage and stuff. So that'll probably be a break of a few minutes. But other than that, I should be able to go decently late. I'm hoping for maybe two to three hours of live stream here. But anyways, uh, I think we are done... With that, we can. I'm gonna build up the dock size one more, and we're, I'm gonna save and go to the next turn. <gasps> oh, come on! Ah, I can't take. Didn't give me a ship. Why does it always do this to me? On the turn after I start, it's like. Oh, you were at war? We're just gonna cancel that now. And it was Austria-Hungary which collapsed, and Japan's like... Oh, we're just... We're just not gonna give you anything. I want to take stuff from Japan, game! Let me take stuff from Japan! For once! Please! Alright, provoke Japan. Doctrine. Stop the training. That should be done. Uh, now that we are not at war, can I, uh, get a torpedo bomber from anyone? Okay, so max speed, that guy's about 120. Bye, only allied nations, so I need an ally. But it seems like, okay, Austria-Hungary, France, Germany, the U.S., and Britain all have them. So only me and Japan don't have torpedo bombers. Nobody has dive bombers yet. Everyone has fighters naturally. Um, our fighter is actually a little old at this point. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we... Our fighter... Actually, it's not that old. But it's not that great. Uh, flying boats. You know, we, we know we have some, but Medium bomber, nobody has any yet, and I don't think heavy bombers are buildable in whole plane scouts, everyone has them. So yeah, we do need, uh, we are going to need torpedo bombers, and I'm hoping that that research winds up 
getting done now. So that war ended immediately. I was hoping it would last a little longer. Um, with Austria's collapse. Alright, so how do I want to handle this? Uh, you move back to Northeast Asia. Yeah, we'll keep the current fleet in Northeast Asia, in Northeast Asia, but I'm going to move the Mediterranean fleet out to Northern Europe. Although I do need some... How much do I need in the Med again? It's just unfair that it was Austria who collapsed and not Japan, because I wanted... Japan to collapse. I wanted to take a ship from Austria. It gave me only the option to take concessions. And it's just like, Austria doesn't have any possessions. I can't do that. Why are you so cruel to me, game? Why? Alright. Uh, force requirement is 4,000 in the med. And we're going to have to look at what ships do scrap. Uh, so we have these cruisers, which are pointless at this point in time. So, yep. Goodbye, Palata class cruisers. There we go. Alright, so right now we have a Vladimir Northern Europe. Um, we're going to keep that one in the med. We have all those guys in Northeast Asia. I think that's fine. I'm going to move the current two ships in the Mediterranean out to Northern Europe. Like so. You need to see that a little bit better. Um, was adjusting stuff on my uh, other monitor. Uh, Kazan will stay in Northeast Asia, I think. Yeah. Um, Vladimir, I guess, will also stay there. I suppose this will be risky if stuff happens in uh, Northern Europe. But if stuff happens in Northern Europe, then um, hopefully our new construction should take care of the potential tensions there. So this is all... It's 28. Uh, I'll mothball those guys as well. And then probably move... All these guys to the reserve fleet? Okay, if not in home area... Oh right, Mediterranean needs to move to uh, Northern Europe. And then down here, all these guys can be made, uh, mothballed. Hey, G-Man, how's it going? Um, so, I was intending to continue to fight Japan and Austria-Hungary and beat them into submission, but Austria-Hungary was already beaten into submission, and then Japan's like, um, I'm just gonna let myself get out of this war. And Austria-Hungary didn't let me take a ship either, and they didn't have any possessions for me to grab, so I'm kind of pissed. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, that question just got answered. So that went badly. Uh, that was... Like, ten points of concession. Fine. But I wanted territory, and I was trying to invade North Korea, but the... <sighs> Japan pulling out of the war didn't help. Austria collapsing and not giving me a ship didn't help. Oh so yeah, that wasn't exactly good. And I take it that the stream, er, and I take it the stream title is just gonna be changed now. The politicians were weak. There. All right. So right now I'm working on mothballing and reserving parts of my uh, fleet. Alright, so those guys still have to move. Um, that one will be mothballed. I don't care that it's elite status. That one will be moved to the reserve fleet. That one will be moved to the reserve fleet for now. Um, these guys will be moved to the reserve fleet. The remaining Rinda will be kept on active service, though. And then these guys... All these guys can be mothballed just to preserve a bit of cash. Um, unfortunately, I've got to wait for everything to move out to Northern Europe, which means I am going to be in the red this next turn. Unless I get clever.
Okay, we're gonna have one turn. Yeah, I do have CVs enabled. I haven't built them yet, but I have them enabled, and I want to build one relatively soon. So, yeah. I'm gonna reduce my research for a turn. Hey, new flying boat prototypes are ready for evaluation. So, what do we have? Higher max speed. Range is a bit better. That one has a, that one has a good range. Um, bomb loads... A little worse. Um, but the reliability of this one's poor. Range is a little better. Bomb loads a little worse than the, uh, MiG-12. Hmm. This one has a bit faster speed. And still more range. This one has a lot more toughness, though. But a lot less firepower. That one... Hmm. Range is best. Yeah, probably. We'll go with that. And then aircraft types. I think our oldest flying boat will be obsoleted. We'll keep our MiG-12 in service. Um, can we do a torpedo bomber, please? Yeah, the role for that aircraft is not known at the present. That is lame. Uh, I might hold off just a little bit on getting a new airplane. Just not spend the money right now. Okay, so our ships have moved back. So these guys, we want to be in the mothball fleet. That guy, we want to be in the reserve fleet. We're going to keep that Borodino active for the moment. Uh, these guys should probably all be mothballed. Alright, that one's in the med. And then as part of the active fleet... Uh, oh wait, these guys should all be in the reserve fleet here. We're gonna move our... Wait, all these guys are in the med. They should be moved out of the med to uh, Northern Europe. Yes. And one thing I'm gonna do is we need to work on a uh, initial CVL conversion. So we're gonna take the uh, this old armored cruiser here. This guy. Uh, the... Uh, what is it? Vinedstat Postolov? And we're gonna rebuild it. Did I pause ship construction? I did not. I have one thing I need to do. Bring our research rate back up to 12. But yeah, we're gonna take this ship and we're gonna convert it. Uh, yeah, definitely. Alright. Clear our turrets. We're going to replace our machinery. We're going to go oil firing. We have oil firing, right? Yeah. Um, we'll go 26 knots. Eh, maybe 27. I don't know. Ah, flight, flight deck. Um, yeah, reduce the number of secondary guns. Reduce all the tertiaries down. I don't think we can get dual purpose guns of any size. So then we'll have some main armament. Um, as like uh, secondaries. Now the other thought is we could bulge the ship. And the, you know what? Hold on. That would give it some torpedo defense. However... You know what? That's not losing much tonnage for the speed it's gaining. Well, it's not gaining any speed here, but that's extra torpedo protection right there. Now, it would only be a CVL, so I want to see... Let's say we clear those torpedo mounts. Can I... I can get light AA, so that's good. I get a squadron. I can get a squadron of like 20 planes. Can only go so fast as a CVL. Yeah. So this would only be going about 26 knots, I think. Because of uh, the bulge. Yeah. Yeah. Change type. Hall form would not allow. Okay. So that would only allow it to go 25 knots. So. We could have it go 26 without any torpedo armor, or 27 with it. 
Or well, not 27 with it. 25 with it. So do I go 25 knots with the protection or 27 without? That is the question. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the number of directors down to one. Um, increase the amount of ammunition. Maybe only 140. I mean, it's not really designed to get into engagements. 25 knots with protection. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for that. Alright, so we do want... I mean, again, we do want some secondaries here. So I might go F, G, J, and K. It has two... Yeah. So that would be... I don't know, that would be a little bit of protection. Although maybe I'll go... I might not go with that. I might go with uh, D, E... Always port aft wing S and T. Make it look a little better. I will make my own flight deck. I promise you, G-Man. I did that in the last one. I will do it in this one. Alright. Yeah, okay. So that's good. I think, yeah. Four guns firing to either side. Alright, one thing I have to consider is... First of all, do I want... I'm probably not going to have any flight deck armor. I don't think I can get any right now. Can't get any catapults at the moment. Uh, how many planes do I want on this? Because I want it to nicely divide into squadrons. So if I go for an air capacity of, say, 24, as I have it at now, uh, it doesn't give me a lot of weight remaining. But that does... Uh, okay, let's see. So 24. So that's 12 times 2. So we move, move the 2. Uh, 2 is 2 times 2 times 3. So... Yeah, so then 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So any combination of those, I can actually make it. So if I have the... Th yeah, I can split it up into 3. Armored CV, Doctor, and Unarmored. I'm, I'm probably going to go unarmored or mostly unarmored. I might do, like, light CV armor. Alright, then. So I think that's fine. I'm going to reduce the secondaries down to 0, and then top of this all we're gonna have a bunch of light AA guns yeah we still have some extra or extra weight remaining okay 20 K ships but only carry 33 planes I'm not going that doctrine Definitely not yeah I'll do 160 rounds per gun, but it's only a small amount of guns. It's only a CVL, so it doesn't need the greatest amount of protection. Alright, so the funnels normally would be here. Now let's move them. Now in my uh, Austria-Hungary game, and I am pronouncing that correctly now, I think, what I did was I actually built the island on this side of the ship, whereas normally on carriers the island's built on this side. And I want to be consistent here. So, should I build the island on this side of the ship? Or should I build the island on this side of the ship? And I will uh, leave that question for you. Because whichever side um, I build the island on, I'll put the funnels on. Right side? Okay. Not original, but okay. Um, actually, let me look up uh, CVL. Light carrier. Just looking up some light carrier images. Uh, for some of the early ones, maybe early, early light carrier, does that work? Nope, that doesn't, that, that just br brings up worse results. Yeah, like Hermes. I'll look up like HMS Hermes and all that stuff. Yeah, there are two HMS Hermes, and it's going to show me both of them. So yeah, Hermes had it on the right side. I see how Hermes' funnel kind of worked. Yeah, Hermes, Hosho. And then... There's also, like, Langley. And Hosho had uh, several funnels, but yeah, they were all sticking up. So I'll, I'll have the funnels just uh, sticking up on that side. 
Only two CV had it on the left side. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. But it's unique to build it on the left side. And more original. It doesn't really matter which... Or does it really matter which side it's on either? Or don't do a ranger funnel look. We're going to do kind of like a Hosho funnel look here. This is more Hosho-ish. Rangers like funnels on two sides, but you only get four funnels in this, so... You know, trying to get in six for a Ranger-type look wouldn't work really well. Alright, so that will be our funnel placement, and then... Okay, how do I want to do the structure lines on this? So we have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Get rid of one. Just get rid of them all. Okay, so we're going to need... One of them's going to have to be a flight deck. Yes. Yeah, so we have one as a flight deck. One... We need the elevators on top of the flight deck as well, so that's two. And then we kind of need, like, all the little AA emplacement stuff. And then the superstructure, so that's four. So I will do two for the AA emplacement stuff and two for the superstructure, because I like that design. So this will not be asymmetric initially. Um, hmm. I'm gonna do... Well, there's the other thought that we could do this like an early carrier where we have the two flight decks. Or we just have the really big one. I'll probably do the really big one. I don't think this is big enough to have two flight decks. Okay, so then... If we do something like this, maybe... Okay, come on, just... There we go. Mikaga originally had three flight decks, yep. Mine was later rebuilt with one. Uh, then we can do it kind of back there. So we kind of have these little uh, carve-outs for the 5-inch guns. And then we'll kind of do something like this. We have 10 lines right now, which means I'll be able to place this one. Let's see, I have 10 right now, so I get one, two more. So then we'll place that maybe uh, back there. And do something like that. That doesn't look bad. That actually looks pretty nice. As the flight deck. Gonna make the whole CA class into CVLs? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's my intention. Build these three CAs into CVLs, and I'll probably convert my first two battle cruisers into CVs. Um. But the problem is, these are different models of the same armored cruiser, so I'm gonna have to do this sort of drawing twice. And that was completely, or the two different refits of the same one, and what wound up, yeah, better than Rainbow's sideways flight deck, yeah. Um, but what wound up happening was, one of these during building, this one right here, the second one, like, okay, when this first one was completing, it was built, I think, with, uh, oh, what was it, uh, Central Rangefinder Control. But, these two were a couple of months apart, and the first one was too close to completion to be refit with the fire control, but the second one wasn't, so the second one was automatically rebuilt with the fire control. However, the game did something really weird with the second one. Yeah, the better fire control bullshit. Because it... When it rebuilt it with the second fire control, when it commissioned, it did a re-roll of the, uh, is there something wrong with the ship? And on the first one, that re-roll came up negative. There was nothing 
wrong with pervinets. On the second one, however, that roll came up positive. Uh, Vinetstat Apostolov lost a knot in speed. So, as such, if I was to try to rebuild Pervinets into the same class as Apostolov, I would have had to have sacrificed a knot of speed, which is why I kept them as two separate classes of ship. <sighs> Russian shipbuilding. That's what I'm blaming it on. Alright, so structure one. We're gonna take it, and... I'm gonna leave it on symmetric for the moment. Uh, for the actual, like, island, it's gonna be eight. Or I'm gonna put it on asymmetric, but... Yeah, structure one and structure two will be... Uh, anyone else has CVs yet? I don't think so. Um, I don't think anybody's even building, like, a... CVL conversion yet, although it could be wrong. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody actually is. Now, my other problem is I'm not going to have a lot of airplanes to put on this. Oh, I also need to reduce my air force. Oh, God, I forgot. That's cost me some, or that's cost me a little bit of money. Um, all right, so we're going to do maybe that. I'll go down just a little bit there. Go out to the side there through there uh, back there and then I'm just gonna bring this down and do the same to this one it amazes me that a lot of people just can't do this sort of simple design work for whatever reason and it's like people please do this uh, country that has to worry about money yes Yes, this is very much a country which has to worry about money a lot. Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're going to do... People are dumb. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to do something like that. Uh, maybe not quite that far out. Down to there. Down to about... There. Then back to there. Go across. Go down. And then... Hmm. I'll go a little bit further out than that. Do something kind of back here. I know that some carriers also kind of have like a uh, little wing-like structure. I don't know why they have that little wing-like structure. Is that like more Zuiho sort of thing? I don't know, I might not have that wing. Actually, how did it look on like Hosho? Yeah, Hosho didn't have anything like that. Okay, pressing D doesn't do anything now, so... There we go, now it's working. So if we want to do, I don't know, maybe this. Okay. That looks okay, so then do a little CV, E Island. I will, I will. But first off, we're going to do structure four, and that will be our elevator structure. Alright, so how did it look on, like, Hosho and... Uh, Osho kind of had one elevator forward and one elevator aft, so we will do the same here. So our elevator, ah, probably a little further back, about here-ish, we can do an uh, elevator. No, let's, square, let's make it not perfectly rectangular. So there's just a little bit of curve in it. And then go back down. Oh, I mean, okay, this would be a bad place to put one. I think one about maybe here-ish would be smart. Maybe we do more of a plane-shaped elevator here. Like, boop, boop. Is 
something along. Ah, uh, come on. Straighten up. There we go. And then just uh, bring it back there. Okay-ish, maybe? I'm not assholed on this guy back here. This guy looks nice. But yeah, I'm not assholed on that one. I'm going to redo it, and I'm going to redo it as Structure 5. You like it? Okay, yeah. I won't redo it then. Alright, so now we do need the CV Island. And that's going to go here. Or CVE Island, I should say. And we actually have uh, two things to do it with. I'm going to bring up uh, Hosho real quickly. Or Hermes or whatever. I want to look it up. So yeah, I do have that brought up and all the pictures on there just to look at it. And yeah, just so I can uh, see what I should be doing. So Hosho kind of had this odd thing. HMS, let's say if we look at HMS Hermes, uh, that was a little different. A little more of a uh, proper CV superstructure. And other than Hermes, uh, USS Langley? Um, yeah, okay. Langley, uh, oh wait, no, that's CVL-27. Langley didn't start out with one. Did Probably didn't get one. I don't know what... I'm going to look up USS Ranger as well. So this, this is actually probably pretty close in mass to the original, or in tonnage to the original USS Ranger. A small CV that... Yeah, sure, send it to me over Discord. Oh, come on. Discord's been laggy for me today for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, so Ranger... Kind of has that sort of superstructure. You know, that right there. So I'll probably do something maybe more little, uh... Either Rangery or, uh broke earlier today. Ah, okay. I'll probably do something a little more like rangery or uh Hermesy here. So then that would be Hmm. I have an idea. Let's do okay, let's start it here. We'll do something kinda like I don't know, maybe this? I should wait. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. Check. Okay. Oh, that's Lexington. Showing me a picture of Lexington there. I wouldn't say that's your CV. I mean, that's just Lexington. And that, you know, that was a definite proper fleet carrier. You can make the case that Ranger wasn't, but you can't really say that about, you know, Lexington. Alright, so I'm going to start on this line here. I'm going to do something kind of like that. It was not a kind of small CV. Ranger was. Ranger was, yeah, Ranger was. Lexington was not. 36k tons. Yeah, Ranger was pretty small. Lexington was not small. Lexington was, like, similar. Lexington might... The Lexingtons, I think, might have actually been heavier than the Yorktowns. So... I'm going to undo that again. And uh, try that one more time. So we're going to start here this time. Yeah, they were larger. Right, so we'll do a... S oh, come on. There we go. And then we can do something like that. Line it perfectly, and then... Uh, 
That might actually match, like, perfectly in the middle there. They were the heaviest USCVs until the midway. Yeah, makes sense. And then on top of this, we're going to do like a Ranger-esque superstructure. Then what we do is we take this. Uh, we go here, probably. And then probably kind of go back like that. All what I'll do is I'll go back here. Go across. Hmm. Down again. No, no, we'll do something like to there. To there. To there. To there. To there, to there, okay, come on, that's a little, little off, little wonky, go up again, that's about even, about there, and that would be that, but I'm going to do... Okay, so we're at 13 structure. We still have a bit more to use than... That's slightly odd. How does that look? That looks relatively detailed, even if it's like saying absolutely nothing at all. But how does that look for a uh, CVL? Rangers don't wait. Hold on. Hold on. Ranger was only fourteen thousand five hundred tons. The ship we are building here is heavier than Ranger. All right, then. I think this is I think this is good. Does this look good to you? Um, it'll probably wind up being sunk because that sort of stuff typically happens. I think I will uh I'll wait for that reply and then get it uh ready. Or if there isn't a reply, yeah, I'll just uh, save and go. Not getting one right now, so yeah, I think I'll just uh, save and go with this. Design report for CVL Pervinets. Yeah, rebuild design saved as Pervinets 1920. So yeah, rebuild that one. We're going to lose a small amount of money, but we should hopefully regain that. Okay, I don't want to fight you again, Austria, though. Can you stop pulling this shit? I want to fight Japan, not you. Alright, so our monthly balance has gone up again now that we are building a uh, our first CVL. It'll take us 18 months to build that, though. But, you know, more of, this, more of our stuff moved around into the uh, proper position. All these guys are in Northern Europe, so I can actually move some of them to the reserve fleet. Like it? Okay, good. Yeah. I'm gonna wait a couple more months. An anti-British rebellion has broken out in Burma. Yeah. Wait one more month. Now we do have a little bit of money left. Okay, so we're gonna get two of our Gryden class uh, light cruisers here shortly. I actually want to see what research do I have in terms of uh, ship design. 
Whatever that is. Uh, we only have four centerline turrets still. We don't have five yet. What is my largest gun? 15 inches now. Um, I've been building ships with 14 inch guns, but yeah, we'll switch to the that 15 or potentially a 16 in a, a little bit. Now, I do want to get uh, probably Pervinets rebuilt right now into a uh, carrier, which means I'm going to have to do the exact same thing again. Can I rebuild this? No, I can't. All right, open design for a rebuild then. You know what I should have named the other one as was uh, Dinatsov Apostolov or whatever. All right, so bulged, replace machinery, oil firing. Uh, Twenty-seven knots. Clear the turrets. Do we go up to. How do we do on this guy? So it was one hundred sixty rounds of ammo. And then clear turrets. I'm going to have a bird on my shoulder here soon, so that's going to give the stream oh, maybe a little more life. I don't know if that's exactly more life or not. Okay. There he is. Oh yeah, turret size, we want, uh, those guys. Now this, yeah, D, E, S, and T, same as we had it before. But this is a little more interesting, because it's not having the turrets look the same as we had them before. Is a uh, parrotlet a very nasty species of bird? Yes, you looking at my screen. Let's go on my shoulder. Because I remember we drew around the turrets, but these ones look like they're further in than the other ones were. For whatever reason, I don't know why. Clear the torpedo tube mounts. Oh, yeah. We need a uh, flight deck. Yeah, only CV and CVL can have flight deck. Yeah. And then if we update the ship graphic, yeah, that's what did it. Alright, so yeah. 24 air, cap air capacity on this one. Um, and then we'll just uh, load it with all the anti-aircraft guns we can fit. And then we'll do a similar build to the last one, but it'll be a little different intentionally, so that these are kind of represented as uh, different ships. So this time, uh, turn off the asymmetric superstructure. I'm gonna only do... I'll do two funnels, but I'll do them combined into one. Actually, I'll do, I'll do three, but combined into one. I actually move them back a bit here. Okay, come on. Okay, what do I have this one at? So I'm placing this one at X182. Then this one I want at 182 as well. Okay, no, I don't want to move it up. That's down a little too far. This is really hard to place right. There we go. The only pet you have is a dog. I bet it's a good dog. Okay, come on. Just slightly adjust. I mean, unless you're allergic like me, you can't go wrong with a dog. 
Oh, if I zoom in slightly more, it gets slightly more divided, so... Okay, wait, what? Oh, because I zoomed in. It changed. That's annoying. Alright, so what's this one going to be at now? 192. X192. X192. Got surgery a week and three days ago for an ACL tear. Ah, uh, I have to watch him more. Yeah. But you know, it's a dog, so... It's probably fine if you hang out with a dog more. Probably a good thing, in fact. Be around a dog more. Unless he gets into trouble a lot. Alright, so we're going to start our flight deck uh, maybe here-ish. Go to there. Go back a bit. You good boy. Yeah. yeah. That's... You know, that's the thing you can say about dogs, which you can't say about birds, is that dogs are good boys. Are birds good boys, Jasper? Would you consider yourself a good boy? I don't think you would. You'd consider yourself a nasty, nasty bird, wouldn't you? You're not going to say it here, are you? No. Yeah, he knows how to say the words nasty, nasty bird, which is not... Not something you want your bird to know how to say. That's not a good sign if a bird starts saying that to you. I, I'm actually going to completely redo this. So we're going to straighten that up a little more. Ah. Uh, he sticks his butt out between the bars and damages his wings and plucks his feathers and attacks people. Okay, he is preening me right now, but don't don't chew don't bring the headset and chews on stuff. Yeah, you do physically attack people. You you attack family. You like to chase feet and bite. Like I know you can be sweet, but and a lot of times you are not sweet to people. I mean, they're birds, though. They do that. And they're parrotlets. Parrotlets especially do that. Alright, so then... Birds are evil. Yeah. Alright, so this flight deck looks a little different than the other one, intentionally. Oh, that was structure one I was building with, not structure three like I wanted. Oh, well, I just overlay structure three onto structure one then. And these uh, 24 plane light carriers, or light carrier conversions that we're starting out with here, they are going to be a lot better than like uh, the uh, other ones I had. On the other hand, I want to actually... Okay, if we got the purpose-built CVL, and I'm doing this anyways, I'm going to feel like a moron for doing this, because it's probably just better to design the purpose-built CVL. Probably cheaper, in fact. I'll do maybe that as the end instead. So get rid of structure one. There we go. Alright, so that's structure 3, and then we can use structure 1 and structure 2 for what we used them for last time. So structure 1, um, yeah, CV conversions are really expensive. Especially if you're doing machinery refit. If you're not doing machinery refit, they're actually not that bad. Um, this one, but yeah, this one I just intentionally want to look a little different than the other one. 
because I kind of am forced to build them differently anyways. Okay. Can you stop being a little stinker, bird? Sorry, he's chewing on my shirt, so I'm... I kind of like petting him. I don't know why. I'm trying to get him... I'm doing this to get him to stop. It's not gonna work, is it? Alright. So that's structure one, and structure two can be, uh... Kind of this... Oh, come on. Structure two, we're gonna start maybe there. Go back to there. Um, alright, no, go back to there. Then, actually, you know, we'll go out further here, and then do maybe this. Only part way. I want it to be a little bit more out. We can do something like that. That doesn't look bad at all. That looks pretty fine. Okay, so then structure four. Um. We can once again do the, uh, forward elevator about here. Okay, come on. And then, to our aft elevator. Around here, and this one's just going to be a square. Because again, Slightly different CBL conversion design. And then, interesting idea. Okay, so then structure five. I could have redone structure four just slightly down at the rear. I think that looks fine though. That's good enough. Alright, so now we want the asymmetric superstructure. So then structure 5 is going to be probably kind of similar to what we built before. Then, yeah, just bring it back here. Um, actually, you know what? No. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start structure 5 out right here. Bring it back that way. Bring it up to there. Uh, up there, maybe. You know what? I'm gonna do. So normally, you do something like that and then bring it back. But what I'll do is I'm gonna do a little bit of an outcropping here. Yeah, this is an all. Battle cruise, or I'm not allowed to build battleships this game. That's kind of the thing with it, is no battleships allowed. Battle cruisers are allowed. Uh, heavy cruisers are allowed. Yeah, Jackie Fisher loves your navy. Yep. Can you steal BBs? No, I'm not allowed to steal battleships either. If I steal a battleship, I have to scrap it or convert it, I would say. I, th I think I would allow myself to do that. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks good. And then, uh, structure six can be similar to how we built it before. So, actually, you know what I'm gonna do for structure six is I'm gonna start... No, no, I'm gonna start here. Do something. Go to there. Go to there. You go back to uh, here 
put on Soviet March music while watching this. Alright, so then we'll do that. I'll go bring it back there and then do a little thing out there. Ah, there we go. Second CBL. Doesn't look bad. There's our conversion for uh, Pervinets. So that is 19... Did we get purpose-built CVLs? That would be heavier than there. Wait, no. This. Okay, no, we still only have conversions. Alright, save. Next turn. Rebellion in Burma continues. Um, we can get more budget and increase tension with the U.S. I don't think I want it. In Ooh, no, I don't want to increase tension with the U.S. They have the same number of battle cruisers as we do, but on top of it, they have another set of battleships. Now, on the other hand, Germany is actually looking in a not great position right now. But, you know, Germany is a potential ally. And they're not in a good position, I don't think. France isn't looking good either. But I, I want to take territory from Japan. Japan. Wait, it's saying Japan only has one BC building? What? Are they rebuilding some of those? or? I don't know. I want to take territory from Japan, and the game just doesn't let me for some reason. Maybe I do maybe I should go after France. But it looks like Austria wants to pick a fight again for some reason. I don't know why. Um killed all their capital ships. Yeah. And I don't get any territory from fighting them. I haven't yet, and I don't know how to do so cuz the game just <sighs> it's so stupid. <sighs> All right. Uh Ooh. Okay. Okay. 11-inch guns of quality 1 or 15-inch guns of quality 0. I think that's a no thanks. Our new flying boat is ready for service. Let's actually uh order a uh maybe a new float plane scout. Actually, can we I want an ally and then do steal a, uh, something else from them. So, we, range and speed, I think, will be our priority for the float plane scout here. Alright, so it'll take four turns to complete Navarin. So, I want to get a 15-inch gun capital ship done. Okay. Okay, so check. No. How do I get you to be a BC? 28 knots is what it needs to go at. Having the large secondary battery is uh, going to stop enemy ships from coming near it. Now, I might do... Okay, before I rebuild it, I want to I wanna see... Do we have improved... Yeah, I can make it bigger. That's my plan. I don't have improved triple turrets. I don't think. Oh, wait, no. I do, I do, I do. So, yeah, I can stick to the triples on... Uh... Yeah, so go up to that. Um, gee, if I go to research, do we have good all-or-nothing armor? That would be under armor development, right? No... No, I don't. Alright, 15 inch guns, uh, 28 knots, range medium. Yeah. That will probably be the case the second I build this. I actually want to increase the deck. Oh, I want to increase the deck a lot. can't increase the deck as much as I want it, or I want to. So we'll go up to 14 with the turrets. Um, 
We'll go to 2.5 with the deck. 4.5 with the turret top. We can't can't build catapults yet. Um, I think I'll leave the gun layout the same. Because I do have the budgetary problems. I uh, will outfit it with the anti-aircraft guns, though. Although I might leave some extra weight remaining on this. Yeah. Maybe uh, stick five rounds of ammo in it. Nah. That look good. Just a new name. Actually. Remember every ship is a minesweeper once. Hold on, my bird's gonna be a snot, so I'm putting him in the little cage we have down here for him. Alright, uh what what was I wanting to do here? So I was gonna go back to Dreadnought Battleships, just a new name that. I don't think we had a, another ship named that, so that will be our name. And I think in terms of the uh, style of this, I'm just going to... I would maybe change this out. I am going to change this out, but I don't think I'm going to do it like I did quite with the design, where it's so obvious that it was designed for uh, casemates. I'm not calling it the vodka. No. No, bad G, man. Bad. Alright, so how do I want to do this? Uh, so normally, you'd have a step down somewhere. Um, I think that step down could probably be down here. Or alternatively... Yeah, we just... Uh, I don't know. Normally add the step down kind of here-ish. What we could do is maybe like this. I don't know if you heard that sigh. There was a sigh involved. Wait, which... Okay, so it's the... Yeah, so we can start from, like, maybe here-ish. Go down to there. I don't even want to know what those translate to. I swear to God if it's part of Churchill's speech. Actually, I didn't post, put a threat there. Bad gun, bad liver. Alright, so then... You can do something like that, and then have the step down at the rear, and then later put aircraft facilities there. No! No, I don't want Churchill's speech! Stop it, G-Man! No! 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 Alright, anything else I want to get on this? Um, I have a little bit of extra weight remaining, but that extra weight remaining might, you know, be good for upgrades. Or I could just increase the ammo to 125 rounds. Um, may make it... Yeah, that still gives me some good, or good amount of weight remaining. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit to design this. Uh, we're gonna get two destroyers here. Um, yeah, complete Navarin with our best fire control. Oh, no. It's Google translated into that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna install that on the design. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's take a, take that with Germany. Um, oh, yeah, the one thing I wanted to do, uh, air groups. Because I forgot about this. Um, I'm just going to disband them all, I think. 
Because we're spending like 3,000 on naval aviation. And that, you know, 3,000 per turn on naval aviation just cost me, uh, how much did that cost me? Let's see. That was an alliance. Yeah, about 36,000. I lost about 36,000 due to my uh, own stupidity. Yeah. So I still want my focus to be on taking out Japan here. Um, it, unfortunately, tensions didn't quite decrease as much at the end of that war as I wanted them to. And right here, I'm just going to get rid of like all of my naval uh, aviation squadrons and then just... Uh, you know, reestablish them later. I don't think any of them had a chance to advance very far. Yeah, look at all the extra money we got out of that. Reduce that by, or gain an extra about 2,000 a month. Alright, so then... Tell the Japanese anime is bad and they all want to kill you. No, I don't want to auto-design it. I want to open you. Yeah, TPS 3. Uh, decrease the ammo down. No, no. Increase the ammo again. Update the chip graphic. Make sure nothing's changed. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll keep it with the extra mass there. So save that. Yeah. It'll take four months and a bunch of money, and I want to go to, uh... Aircraft types. Uh, torpedo bomber. Does Germany have one? Germany has two. So that one's slower. That one's faster with a higher range and less bomb load. Does that kin carry a torpedo? Yes. Buy it. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, well. We just bought ourselves a torpedo bomber, though. So my hope is that now we know they exist. Please. So, okay, superimposed turrets on heavy cruisers. That should be good. Okay, now we can have purpose-built CVLs. Okay, so in terms of our new float plane scout, um, since I probably... Okay. Okay. So I prioritized range, then speed. And yet, not a single one of you was able to bet. Actually, no, wait, no, they did best it in range. I was looking at speed, never mind. So they were able to best it in range. They were not able to best my old one in speed. Only one of them was able to best my old one in range, though. Good job. And they weren't able to best it in bomb load. Now, they were able to best it all in maneuverability. Not really in toughness. Not really in firepower, either. Three years of aircraft development, and you give me something which can arguably be called worse. But I'll take it anyways, and just have two in service for the moment. Uh, aircraft types, can we... Request something for, I don't know, Torpedo Bomber. Range and bomb load, maybe? It's not known at the present. We just quite literally bought one. Hoping that uh, that would teach us. All right, get us a fighter. Um, I'm going to put firepower first and uh, maneuverability second. Alright, so Navarin will enter service here. I'm gonna build larger docks. Um, I'm gonna order Imperator Nikolai the first. Uh, should I scrap it? Eh. Uh, okay, let's see. If I take you, open you for a rebuild, place your machinery, give you oil firing, get you up to that.
clear the main guns, turn the secondaries down to maybe one, turn the turrets down to two, um, deuce all the secondaries here. Well, I just unlocked the ability to build purpose-built CVLs. So I want to check if I can rebuild this as a... Or if this being rebuilt would be rebuilt as a CA or a CL. Or not CA. CV or a CL. Okay, flight deck. Okay. So it would count as a CV, but I think that the other ones would be better and that this would be a kind of crap CV. Yeah, it's... The thing is, if I rebuild this as a CV, it's a going to be crap, yeah, I need the multiple guns. I need to actually research the CV technology to re rebuild them into CVs. But the problem with this is it's going to be crap. It's going to make a bad CV. And I could probably wind up having a CVL, which is just as good. Now, this is also presuming that machinery refits don't allow me to get this a little bit better. I might... I don't know. No! No, there's no point to making this a CVL. G-Man. It's either scrap or CV. Do I wait a little bit, see if I get some machinery improvements? And then try to get maybe like... Thir um, 30 something to 40 planes out? I, th I think it is just a scrap. I think, yeah. Scrap it. I don't need it. Alright, so. Yeah, Navarin will be done here now. Without an operational aircraft carrier. Okay. Yes, we can build purpose-built CVLs now. But, I want to figure out what my monetary situation... Um, I'll buy that. I have some extra money. Yeah, send a note, increase tensions with them. So we want to build that battle cruiser, and I want to build a second one. Will I make a purpose-built CVL? Probably, but I want to get two of these uh, new battle cruisers built. Okay, so I'm going to show all designs. I'm going to suggest a name from that so that we have a battleship name here. And I'm going to order a second battle cruiser, even if it is pretty expensive. Superimpose guns on DDs. No to all. No, you cannot make a name for it. All right. A new Austrian fighter is entering service. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I will enter that, enter into an agreement with Germany. I think that is a very good move, considering that they're our ally. Additions during development have made it somewhat sluggish. Russian aviation industry for you. Alright, so we have a fighter in development. Um, yeah, go for the win. Give me my prestige point back. Mine rails on CL and DD. Uh, fighter prototypes are ready. Alright, so we have a... Max speed is better. Firepower is 4, so I want to keep that one. Okay, so that had... What industry? Yeah, firepower 4, maneuverability 11. That's what I prioritized in. That's the best in those two areas. Best in speed as well. And best in range. Um... Okay, so best in speed, best in range, best in firepower, 
and best in maneuverability. Not quite the best in toughness, but... Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good fighter. Right there. Alright, three turns until we get our, um... Is that? There we go. Now we're starting to piss off Japan. Or, yeah. Two turns until we get our carriers out. Early hydrophones, um... Oh! Why do tensions decrease? There we go. Uh... Yeah, handle it quietly and discreetly. I don't want to piss off. America, no to all. No to all. More spies in Japan. I don't want to put it to high. Alright, so we have the two Gryden class, uh... Cruisers... Okay, so how's our destroyer force right now? That guy should probably be mothballed. How long... Okay, these guys are 1918 refit. So right now they're good. Uh, in terms of old ships right now, our Vladimirs are getting kind of old, so I will just do a uh, nice good old blank rebuild on them. And yeah, why is... These are a result of, uh, oh, who is it? Viking. These heavy, uh, or these heavy minesweepers. And then I also have these smaller ones, too. This is 600 tonners. Alright, so submarine-wise, uh, I probably don't want two of those guys around still. Tonnage on foreign stations is now less. Oh, right, um... What do we have in Northern Europe? We have one of those guys. Move you to the med until it gets back. Just do 600 tonners. They're not actually... These aren't actually that more expensive. And if you notice, their ASW rating is 5 rather than 2. Um, I think... I think these might actually be better in the ASW role. Okay, so these cost... That much to build? Three seven two five, where say a uh, one of these guys here. Uh, okay, one two seven three. So those are actually a little better in the ASW role. But then these can fight all like cruisers. Or something maybe. What what was this one? Yeah, three seven two five. So yeah, I was probably wrong about that, but I, I don't think I have to rebuild them. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna get that. CVL back. Um, I want to open... Okay, I want to design a new CVL here. Alright. Um, hmm. Now, I will redo how this looks, definitely. I think that is a uh, good decision. But... Yeah, I'm going to mess with some stuff. Okay, so I like how they've done this, though, with the single line rather than the double. Um, I might keep that even if I uh, do build this a little better. Okay, so flight insulation, air capacity. Okay, so in our other ones, we have 24 planes. And that would divide into how many squadron? Okay, so if we do... Yeah. Yeah, I will fix it. Um... How many squadrons of planes would that divide into? Okay, 24. Let's see, if we divide it by 3, that's going to get us 8. So that would be 3 squadrons of 8. So, you know, typically that would be... Ah, uh, what was it? That would typically be 8 fighters, 8 dive bombers, 8 torpedo bombers, or something along those lines. Or you could do, like, 12 fighters, 6, um, torpedo bombers, 6 dive bombers. So, I think, if we go 32, that would allow us, I mean, that would still allow a squadron, so, torpedo defense 2, we should definitely have some torpedo defense on the ship, and I think I want it to go 27 knots. Which means 
we're gonna have to fix a lot of stuff. So gun armament wise, it's eight fighter. Eight, yeah. All right. So turrets. Um, you know, yeah, we can leave them unarmored. I think. Additional armament is. We we'll increase that a bit because this is all gonna expand. And I'm going to increase the armor, make it a multiple of 3. Well, I wanted to make it a multiple of 12, but the problem is after that it needs to go to 36, and that would put it outside the range of CVL. So, if I set it to a multiple of th 3, then I could do 30. Ah, yeah, I could do 30 and then do 3 squadrons of 10. I'm not doing 33. No. No. Not three squadrons of 11. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do 33. 32 is a nice even number, though. And then I can do, like, four squadrons of eight. And then do fighter, fighter, dive bomber, torpedo bomber. I might actually do that. Do the fighter heavy CVL loadout. Ah, uh, we cannot build larger than this many tons. So that would limit us. So I'm not going to bother right now. Um, Research-wise, can we put this on high again? And actually, on uh, I am going to add a bit of an air group to it. So uh, Torpedo bomber. Change number eight and then change number down to eight. So we'll we'll be doing some uh training on our new carrier here. Yeah. Okay, so Pervinets has finished her reconstruction. I think Okay. How are our destroyers looking right now? We can build up to 1,500 tons displacement. I think... Yeah, I think it's time for uh, larger destroyers. And then how many uh, torpedo tubes can we use? Can we use uh, quads yet? No. Use 5-inch guns? Probably. Can we go up another knot? Definitely. Update the ship graphic. Can we add another... Uh, get rid of the D, get rid of the E for now. We add another uh, torpedo mount. Probably not V. V looks kind of ugly. Can we do P? Yeah, P looks fine. Make a courageous class battlecruiser. No! No courageous class battlecruiser. What I guess I've... Or what I guess I was doing with the battlecruiser design was I was kind of subscribing to a, um, like a fast battleship philosophy with them, even though the game classified them as battlecruisers. So more like, I don't know, hood style? So you can put mines on it. I probably don't want mine sweeping gear on it. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do increased depth charge storage. Ooh, that's fun. And then I want a B superimposed turret. Can I do an X? Uh, too many. Too many mounts. Get rid of the X. That's already heavy and crowded. Um, hmm. We do D and E. No, we can't. Well, that gives us a little bit of extra mass to work with, and I will have to upgrade this for fire control later, so I might just uh, leave it with some extra mass. Uh, structure 1, we're going to redo as like this. Structure 2 is that. Structure 2 we're going to redo out to uh, here. Then that funnel is going to move about there. Alright, structure 4 is that? Yeah, that's 4. Structure 4 is going to go here-ish then. And then... 
So, okay, structure three is that. Structure three, structure five is that. Okay, so we didn't use the structure six before, I don't think. So structure six will go here then. Uh, structure four will go here. And then we can do something kind of like that. And then structure five will be Oh, I don't know. We could do that. There we go, that's our uh, new destroyer. The uh, Vazni class. Wait, can I get... No, I, can, I cannot get more mines in it. Come on. Oh yeah, it's uh, going to take a month to design. Our new fighter is ready for service. Go to build screen. Alright. Build me a uh, squadron of them. Or a nice group of them. A four. Alright, so our two Vladimirs are going to be done pretty soon. I want to open the design for the Gryden again. Probably want a 29 knot cruiser. And we'll just uh, leave the design the same, but... It's just a new name for the Pilata class. Yep, that's fine. No. Uh, increase the that again. The Flora class, maybe? We also need to start refitting ships with uh, AA guns. Okay, build us the light cruiser Flora. I don't think we have money for another ship. Yeah, Novik should be back. Yeah, We're not going to fight war with France right now. That's just going to moderately increase tensions and give me a point of prestige. Uh, we could actually lay down another ship of the Flora class now. I think that is a good decision. So now we have two more Flora class cruisers building. Check if anyone else has CVs. Um, Germany has one CVL building. Uh, Britain has one CV building and one CVL building. Uh, US has one CVL building. So we did build the first experimental CVs here. With uh, Pervinets. and uh, Apostolov. And yeah, I think it is probably a smart decision to keep those two in active service. Now, probably want to... Uh, who has the largest guns? Not me! Alright, I'm actually going to open Navarin for a rebuild. And on her extra space, give her a bunch of light anti-aircraft guns. No! Rebuild her. Alright. Note all. Note all. Do we have any more technology being researched here? We do not. Did Navarin get... Alright, new flying boat as a private venture. Max speed is higher. Bomb load's the same. Range is not quite as high. I am not going to get it. Alright, so, can we request a torpedo bomber yet? Should wait, range and bomb load. Roll for the aircraft is not known at the present. We literally have some from Germany. How can you not figure out how to build this darn thing? Alright, so, that float plane scout is obsolete. That fighter is obsolete, so... Probably flying boat time. So flying boat, uh, range and bomb load. I think's probably good. No vodka ship, no torpedo bomber. Uh, God, you're probably right. All right, so Navarin will be. Navarin now has anti-aircraft guns. Now he can get quadruple turrets. I probably won't. I think uh, 
this ship next will be refit with uh, anti-aircraft guns. Just as many as I can pack on her. Fifty-nine. Alright, so Borodino. We don't have that many. Claw 13. Alright, uh, ASW technology improved depth charges. Ah, uh, no thanks. Ah, uh, ooh, improved model. Which comes with better range. Hooray! Ah, uh, new battleship Kirishima. Six 12 inch guns. Actually, what was Japan building with their battle cruisers? Is that. Okay, so the Congo has eight 12-inch guns and an 8-inch belt. Why was I scared of those things? And a 27 knot top speed. This is better! Other than its speed, this is a better ship than what they were building. And I did it on 5,000 less tons. Five, year, five years earlier. Alright, so, no to all, no to all, just come on. Okay, so now she's, yeah, yeah, lower tensions, I'll take the budget hit. Oh, finally, we're going to get 5 plus centerline turrets in 1923. <sighs> I'm checking something on Discord real quickly. Okay, you blew the masculinity out of the Japanese. Yeah. Oh yeah, now we're losing some money per month. Uh, no. Extended double bottom. Now we have 16-inch guns. Um, but you know that's like a year into the construction. No, that's more than a year into the construction of these things. These were like 40-month builds. So you know, they're halfway done already. Oh, we're baffled by the problems of 5-plus centerline turrets. Our scientists are flippin' morons! Okay, that one has good range, but less speed than before. We can't afford a new battlecruiser class right now. We don't have the money. And the bomb load's the same. Range is a little better. But the speed is worse. I'll take it. Just for that better range. Um. Not Venezuela. Okay, if you want to bankrupt me, that's how you do it. Or if you want me to build, like, the sorts of battle cruisers which, uh, flash fire. A lot. Alright, uh, we want a fighter speed. No, wait, no, firepower and maneuverability, probably. Actually, wait. No, we did just do a fighter when. Cancel. Uh, the current fighter is 1922. Um, yeah. Request that proposal. Now, guys, please figure out some technologies here. I'm going to reduce fire control down to a. Fire control needs to be at high. We might be able to reduce some stuff to medium. Or, not medium, low. I might put submarines on low for a little bit. I'll put them on medium. I'll put explosive shells on low. Um, those are on medium. projectiles and light forces and torpedo warfare. I'll move that to medium and hopefully that'll allow a little more focus on the carriers. Um, hmm, budget cuts? I'll get it watered down. Alright, how good is this fighter? USSR does army good, yeah. Alright, range is a little lower, max speed's a little higher. 
Uh, firepower is the same, maneuverability is a little lower. So it's a little faster than our current fighter, um, but has a little less range and a little less maneuverability. I think I will take it in conjunction with the old fighter. There you go. Now our uh, new destroyers are entering service. Unfortunately, that's not getting me on my money woes enough. Uh, no thanks on that. Ah, uh, yeah, send a diplomatic note. Unfortunately, we're kind of pissing France off now. Although, might be a good idea to get them into war. So let's uh, move those guys to the reserve fleet, save a little bit of money. Maybe go to low spying on France. Ah, uh, you know what? Medium spying on France. Because France has territories... Well, I mean, we'd have to fight them in Northern Europe, sink their ships. But they have territories in the Med. Our naval budget is better. We have a larger heavy ship fleet than they do. Yeah, I think we refocus on France. Although, they don't have anything in Northeast Asia. So, that doesn't exactly help matters. But, you know, if we massively win the war... Actually, what's our invasion range? Absolute garbage. Really? No, we can't invade stuff down here. Well, wait, we can invade, uh... There. We can invade Corsica. Okay, so if we take Corsica, that might get us... These guys in range as well. And then I don't know where we can extend it to after that, but... I mean, I'd like to put ships in Southeast Asia, but we're not going to get invasions there. It'd mostly be take colonies in Southeast Asia for uh, Japan fighting. So we'll we'll have them both on, though. Both France and Japan. Now, at the same time, let's move that one to the reserve fleet. Um, well, this guy should move back into uh, the Med. Now, all these guys are in active service. I'm going to move Rinda into the reserve fleet. I'm probably going to mothball these two just to save on a bit of money. That guy will be moved to the reserve fleet. Corsica. Yeah, we can invade Corsica. Uh, we're going to move this Gryden back to northern Europe. And save, and next turn. New docks completed. Okay, so we get better gun mounts. I'm going to spend money on larger docks again. So that we can keep uh, upgrading that. Okay, so TU. Okay, so new. That's uh, flying boats. Now in service, I am just gonna leave all three of them. Now I hate how they automatically become obsolete after five years. That's kind of really, really lame for the airplanes. Cause I want this guy's still fairly good. Alright, so our new fighter's in development, and we have that one, and then we have the new fighter, pro or the new new fighter program. New fighter prototypes, there we go. So, firepower, I swear I... So the max speed isn't much better. The range isn't much better. The firepower is worse, and the maneuverability is not much better. No. Alright, so I'm going to hold off a little bit on getting new aircraft types. And for whatever reason, it's really... I still say we invade Japan. There you go. Uh, yeah, do that. Increase tension. And hope that it does it with the right nations. Uh, one of those was one of the right nations, one of those was not one of the right nations. I do not want to fight Great Britain. Great Britain has a CV. We don't even know how to build these things yet. Well, uh, okay, that's a really odd CV. It's saying 27 aircraft. Okay, so our our guys are actually fairly comparable to the Pervinets. But come on, scientists. Research more technology, please. You're not researching fast enough. Research faster! Damn it! Build me some subs. Okay. So you have a little bit more money. 
Um, I say we put that into rebuilds, actually. Come on, scientists, science faster. Yep. Yeah, 59 on the other Borodino. Because they are two separate variants for whatever reason. And then... Let's rebuild these guys, too. With, uh... Some light anti-aircraft guns. Hey, we can actually fit all the light anti-aircraft guns in these things. No, we do not want to rebuild these as, uh... BBs. Alright, yeah, rebuild them. You know, we have a bit of money stored up. I think it's just smart to rebuild them all. No, our first set of battle cruisers is horrendously obsolete, but I'm holding on to them for CV conversions. But these the other ones here aren't bad still. So yeah, we'll rebuild them. Uh yeah, decrease tensions with Britain. Enables aircraft catapults on ships. Hooray! We can now build air bases with capacity for the aircraft. Um, good then. I'm still gonna have to buy my aircraft from Germany because we don't know how to build torpedo bombers. <laughs> because our scientists are morons. All right. Uh, coastal fortifications. Uh, expand base on all of them. I miss anything important? Uh, Austria, Austria's government collapsed. Um, Japan decided to back out of the war after that. Other than politicians making you wish Hitler was in charge. Yep, the politicians were weak. They backed out. Of, well, here's the thing. Austria's government collapsed. I didn't get a ship out of it. We didn't get repayment in terms of ships. So, that was bad. I couldn't take any territory of Austria-Hungary's. So that was also bad. And then the other thing which happened was Japan's like, okay, we're just not going to continue fighting. And I couldn't take any territories from Japan. Couldn't get anything out of them. So that was also bad. So basically the entire war was just me getting reparations from Austria. And... Yeah, the scientists are drunk again. I want more technologies in these areas. Now, this is good. Enables aircraft catapults on ships. That I will take. Gladly. That will, um... Actually be able to be refit onto some of my, uh... Battleships pretty well. If we do flight installations and then add a catapult. We do like that. Insufficient torpedo. Yeah, those aren't bal. How are those not balanced? That's lame. Scientists have drunkenly discovered something useful. Yes. What I might do is I might do um. Maybe a midships catapult. So this catapult would probably be situated like here. So that's doable. We'd have to remove some anti-aircraft guns for it, but that's doable. Uh, increase our aircraft capacity to one. And then we just reduce that. So that catapult would probably be about here-ish. Actually, can we, instead of putting one in the Q position, can we do one like the L? Ah, uh, that's lame. Or maybe the R. Oh yeah, Q is the only one which is actually sideways. Uh, annoying. You know what we can do? Let's take our second funnel, combine it with our first. Just a little, little higher up. And then which structure leads to the giant line going backwards? That structure... That's structure 5. Alright, 
so structure five take you uh rebuild you here down to there back to there go through there and then we're gonna do kind of like a trunk sort of funnel here so we're gonna do maybe that and then something like that looks a lot yeah okay that'll work so part of the problem is my scientists have not yet discovered torpedo bombers which means right now I'm making do with, uh, oh, what is it, German torpedo bombers. And getting a new German torpedo bomber is going to cost me a point of prestige every time I want to do it. Okay, so yeah, we'll b rebuild Navarre in that way. Um, unfortunately, this is costing me a lot of money. Five plus centerline turrets. Now we get it. And our whole battlecruiser fleet's gonna be back now. Alright, there we go. Cool. Alright, so I want to probably mothball these guys again. Navarin's still gonna be out for a little bit. Um, reserve him. Actually, you know what? Reserve them for now, too. And then open these. Yeah, no all or nothing armor by the looks of it. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing super useful. New BC class. Not yet! Not yet! We're still building two of them! We still have two battle cruisers currently under construction. So now, this is still in service, but the idea with this is we're holding them around until we can convert them into carriers. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten CV conversions yet! Game. Alright, so we'll just, uh, we'll do this. We'll just rebuild them with uh, a bunch of anti-aircraft guns on them. And I also kind of want to rebuild uh, some of our CLs. The Flora class does have light AA. I don't think the Gryden does, though. No. So yeah, the good news is we did rebuild uh, Pervinets and Apostolov into 24 aircraft light carriers. On the other hand, uh, the third remaining CA was intentionally scrapped because I realized that I could only convert it into a uh, CV and that was kind of pointless because it would only have the aircraft capacity of a CVL. Okay, new float plane scout. Okay, that's... What? Hold on, hold on. We sank all of them! Japan, what are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> Japan is drunker than you. Okay. Okay, so we got a report of our spy finding these specifications for this ship right here. Hey, we're, we're, we're bringing you the specifications for this Japanese battle cruiser. Didn't I sink it already? No? <laughs> Alright, uh... Yes, yeah, so we have seven BCs in service. We have two building right now. And then, yeah, those two are still refitting. Actually, we should have nine in service here. Um, but, okay, so right now we did get the floors done. So that gives us... Ten modern CLs? How many do other nations have? they are saying we have 12 in service. Oh yeah, that's the Vladimir's as well. 15, 5, 13, 12, 2 for Japan. Yeah, we might be able to get... Uh, or do I want to focus on more modern destroyers? Or... You know what? I think you're right. Let's go for a new class of battle cruiser. 16 inch guns. Uh, ship is overweight. Uh, 
Okay, so that would still classify as a battlecruiser at 28 knots. I would like to get 29. I don't think I can. I, th I like this layout, though, because this is a nice layout for getting a uh, bunch of 16-inch guns in. So what is our gun data? Their ship has no immunity zone. And increase the belt. No, that would be as a BB. Alright, so we can increase... Another thought is we do, like, as big as we can get it. And then, uh, have the turrets be protected. Can we increase the number of guns on it? Yeah. Uh, I, I say we go for this sort of layout, maybe. Maybe. Go for the uh, nine 16 inch guns. And the other thing we'd want to do is uh, add. I don't know, can we do that? That's annoying that you can't actually put them in those positions because that's realistically where they were put! Ah, this game still has glitches. Put one in Q. Alright, so if we do a seaplane hangar. Or no hangar. And, uh. We just have a bit of extra mass laying around. Well, even with a bit of extra mass laying around, um. Or tonnage laying around. It might be good to commit that to something. I want larger decks, but it's so difficult to get. Um. Yeah. No, we're not naming it Potemkin. Why are you so insistent on this? Actually, do we have anything named Potemkin already? I don't think we do. Um, we might have at one point. Alright. Does this look like a good design? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if I am going to put more stuff on this, what would I want to do? What would I want to actually put on it? Because we could go we could go for like the third scout. Need more guns? No, it does not. It does not need more guns. Nine is fine. We want a survivable ship. Here. God. Why do I have you guys as an audience? Why? You could do better belt extended armor. Oh, uh, just leave the belt extended at two. Um, it is an Iowa. Kinda, actually. Yeah, it's kind of an Iowa. I will just uh, reduce the mass a little bit, maybe to there. So we still have a little bit of extra tonnage remaining. Uh, okay. Wait three months for bigger docks. No, no, I'm, I'm just gonna get the design done. Now, uh, maybe we should. Yeah, let's wait three months. I think you're right on that one. And then just see what we get. Uh, no to all, no to all. Although I should probably be building uh, larger destroyers here soon, or actually rebuilding some destroyers. Alright, new docks completed. There we go. Alright, so... Oh, France is building heavy cruisers now. There you go, invasion capability has increased. How far? That's how far. So, uh, yeah, that puts uh, Corsica well within range, and if we can take Corsica, we can take these regions if we wind up going to war there. If we go to war against Japan, uh, those possessions are within our grasp as well. I would like to take Formosa by winning against Japan. But it's like, ah, we keep winding up in horrible situations with our wars where we're not getting the peace deals I need. I think it is smart to rebuild our Grydons with anti-aircraft guns.
You know what? No. I need to get the battle cruiser design done. Alright, so open up this design. We can now build up to 51,000 tons. So this is going to cost us about 4,000 a month. Uh, for, or 4,200. No, it costs us more than that. Um, so I think we're going to build two of these guys when these guys finish. Alright, so 16 inch guns. Increase that to uh, that. Okay, so if we go 31 knots, we can't do that. Okay, so we can't increase the belt further. Okay, we're going to do 16-inch turrets. Uh, can I go up to 3-inch deck? I can. Okay. So then we want a uh, Q. Putin's not alive yet! Alright, uh, we'll do that. And then I will redesign the look of this ship as well. So conning tower, maybe 14 inches. Alright, go back to Dreadnought. There we go. Retvizen. This will be the Retvizen class. This this is already kind of a train wreck. Um, so after I design the ship, what I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, put my bird up. And, uh, care for him a little bit. Um, that'll just be, like, taking care of his food and water and such. And then, after that, I will be back down. And I will be back to playing this a bit more. So that'll be a, uh, quick little break in the middle of this stream. And I'm gonna completely redesign the superstructure now, because I think it's time. We already were looking at something kind of similar to in, uh, Iowa here. Let's, uh, you know what, let's do two funnels. God. You guys are a mess in the stream chat. You two together are a mess. In okay, individually G-Man's a mess. I wouldn't say Viking's a mess. But together. Oh, God. Let's bring it back there. Uh, I don't know. How do we want to do this? Do like that. Let's do that. Actually, you know what? No, I, I remember what I wanted with structure one. With a post for my shit, the shit posting begins. Yep. So you might remember how this kind of looked. Actually, no, we want to do it maybe here. Ah, uh, it's not looking that great so far. Let's do it. Scow in the Leningrad. Was there actually a battle cruiser named Leningrad? I forget. But do remember, we're Imperial Russia here. As well, we're not, you know, we're not Soviet Russia. We're not Communist Russia. I go there and kind of do maybe that. Then. Hmm. Do something like that, maybe. Would that work? I don't know, I'm not super sold on this front here. So we'll do that. Bring it back maybe to there. Bring it back to there. Bring it out a little bit, bring it in. A little bit to there. Bring it down to there. There. Catherine the Great and Peter the Great. Again, this is just going to be named Ritvizen. Like, it'll be named like a normal Russian battleship. It's just a battle cruiser. Because Russia doesn't have battleships in this timeline, so they named their battle cruisers the same thing as they named their normal battleships. 
Alright, so we'll do that, and then we'll bring it back to there, and there, and there. I'm not sold. I'm not sold on how that looks. Try it again. Wait. Maybe that? No appeasement for you! Pure Turvaliki. What is Pure Turvaliki again? Or... I'm probably pronouncing that horrendously wrong. It might be like... Puturvaliki? I don't know. Russian's a very, very weird language to English speakers. Okay, that looks a little better. Although maybe this is a little long. I don't know. Looks good enough, I think. Oh, Peter the Great, but in Russian, yeah. I think there might be a... That might actually be one of the names in the game. I think that is. I don't know which ship it's applied to. Um, Alright, so then... I'm going to do something like this, maybe. We're going to do it back there. Do it out there. Do it to there, structure 2. And then structure 3 will be... Uh, probably going... Is it? Okay, that's a Kirov class. Yeah, I knew that name sounded familiar, so I don't know if that's in the game or not. Um, might be, that might not be. No! No, G-Man, no! Alright. You can do something kind of like... Ah, that may be... Bring it back there... I want to do. No, that doesn't look good. All right, so we're gonna do. We're gonna start here. We can do that. We're gonna bring it maybe there. Actually, what I can do is I can do maybe that. And then bring it down a little bit further, maybe there. And then. Okay, that looks okay. And then structure 5 and 6 can be up over here. So then... Let's see. So structure 5 will go... Uh, let's see. So we'd have a conning tower and then a bridge. Okay, so the conning tower... would be here. So we'll start that. Cutting circulation to the legs, allowing enough blood flow to reach the brain, build our people in punching range. Oh, God. Alright, so then we do that. Um, don't use Churchill. Ah, good enough. And then structure 6 can go kind of on top of this. So what I'll do... Structure 6 will start there. It'll go back... To there. To... Is that centered? Enough. Enough. Do that. And then... Bring it back to maybe here-ish. Alright, we can do here. What I'll do is I'll do... Okay, ah, darn it, we're actually already at 10. So I'll do something like that. Yeah, we can do that, and then I can just move that funnel up a bit. Maybe, uh... Yeah, well, I'll re-add the second funnel as an oval. Just kind of on the first one. Okay, that looks okay. Okay, that will be our, uh, Fritvizen class. 
save it. It'll cost us a lot and take about four months. And with that, I will be right back. So I will uh, just turn off the display capture and I shall put the display capture back on. I'll just uh, leave this design for you guys to see. Be right back. I need to take care of a bird.
All right, I am back, and the birds are birds are now covered. Okay, so we can continue this on. So four turns until uh, the revision design is done, and I think that might actually be a uh, good time to just try to rebuild as many of these cruisers with anti-aircraft guns as we can. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't do open design for rebuild. I did that, I thought. Okay, so how is that in... Oh, maybe I already had the design. Not making new cruisers. No, it's... Uh, we'll do this right now. I do want to make cruisers with 5 plus center lines, but I think... I want to see what the uh, budget's going to be like when we're ordering two new uh, battle cruisers. Well, actually, I might, I might do a new, uh, I might get a new cruiser design, design or a new destroyer design. But right now, I say we, uh, yeah, get all these guys rebuilt. So if we go to war, what I'll do... If we go to war and we don't have new, uh... What is it? Yeah, if we go to war and we don't have new torpedo bombers, I'll try to buy some from Germany. That might be the case where I, uh... Just go ahead and buy another one from Germany. Torpedo bomber. Does anyone have dive bombers yet? Nobody has dive bombers. Okay, so Germany... Uh... All of them are... Older, though. None of them are 1924 yet. Germany's developed their, uh... Torpedo bomber a bit. Not making... Okay, which ones get obsolete? Yeah. Super Cruiser CA is pointless, this one. Yeah, yeah, it does. Now, I do still want to design some more CLs as, like, uh, scout units. Alright, so clear the turrets. We're gonna go 30 knots on this one, I think. Which is gonna lead to there being less weight. And these guys are gonna have the max amount of mines. Oh god, I forgot to put mines on all the CLs I just rebuilt! Oh, I'm a moron! Oh god. Ah, oh, well. Alright, uh, we're gonna. I'm not gonna do V, I'm gonna do X. Uh, R and L, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I might reduce conning tower down to four just to have a little bit more weight remaining. Or increase the tonnage a little bit. Oh, wait. I did? I, I did? I wasn't paying attention. Uh... Or do I have it? I don't know. I don't think I do. Uh, no I don't. I can get above water tubes on a CL though. Oh god, I just refit them all with anti-aircraft guns and forgot to do that! Ugh. Darn it. I'm not on my game today, I don't think. Alright, so, yeah. Clear the turrets. Uh, actually leave it at 30 knots. Okay, there you go. Turrets cleared. X, and then L, and R. Yeah. Okay, clear those mounts. Um, we'll do... F and G. Actually, no. Not only F and G, we'll do F, G, and then J and K as well. Then, no, maybe decrease the mass a little bit. Yep, some salt, yeah. Uh, I have been stupid today.
Alright, uh, we need... Okay, so that's... Superstructure-wise, we do need to make some changes. Um, I think I can leave this as is. I'm gonna take that funnel out, take that funnel out. I'll probably change that funnel to an oval. And, uh, put a second oval funnel in the center. No, we're not doing 24 this time. It didn't seem to work that well last time. Alright, there's our new cruises, the Civitlana. Um, I think that is good. Ship can carry a maximum of 64 mines. Wait, what? You're lying to me, game! You are lying! You're saying 68, but you're like, no, you can only carry 64. Just keep one doing it until it works. Yeah, design that as the Svetlana. Oh, God. Alright. Uh, I'm going to say build us two of them. So that gives us more prestige. Yeah, give us the prestige. Wrong nations to increase tensions with. I want to increase tensions with those two nations. Only one of those was a nation I actually kind of want to go to war with. Um, we can't suffer a war with everyone. Oh god, you are ruining the chat box. When this goes on YouTube, it's gonna look so bad. Alright. No, we are not fighting the Royal Navy! We will get slaughtered! We will get completely and utterly slaughtered! Okay, that's six 16-inch guns. Eight 16-inch guns. Their smallest battle cruisers have 14-inch guns! And their smallest battleship has 13-inch guns, but yeah, they have so much in terms of that and we we have this right now actually wait that's kind of tiny why is that so tiny that's a little bigger missions took a sudden turn with the US oh yeah one more thing I want to do and I forgot to do this is you improve the bases at Dalmatia you improve the bases at Kamchatka so that if we do need to fight... No! No, that would be terrifying. What does the U.S. have right now? Terrifying stuff! And... We still need more technologies in the aircraft carrier field, and we're just not getting them. No to all. Uh, no to all. Yeah. Build us only the first one for the moment. Yeah, build us for a reason. And then now all of our CLs are done. So, mothball the Dianas and move that guy to the reserve fleet and move them all to the reserve fleet. I think uh, Navarin can be moved to the reserve fleet and then these guys can probably be mothballed. And that does give us some of our funding back. Um, on the other hand, probably do want to start rebuilding some of those CLs relatively. Maybe I'll wait until... Uh, I don't want to buy those guns. Maybe I'll wait until we have a uh, better... Okay, whatever the thought is, isn't crossing my mind right now for some reason. Uh, maybe fire control. Fire control for CLs, I think. Alright, uh, actually, I'm not going to name that one Folk Shani. Um, give me one moment. Okay, there we go. I hope that didn't uh, produce a lot of noise. So what I want to do is show all the designs. Stavi. That is what we're going to name this guy. Alright, save. Next turn. Uh, nope, I don't need those guns. We are losing a lot of money per turn, unfortunately. I'll go too low again on each of them. All right, because those guys are active and should probably be mothballed. We'll move that guy to the reserve fleet. Uh, so that one and 
Northeast Asia should 100% be mothballed. Now, I might think about sending maybe the Gryden class to Northeast Asia when war is a little closer. Okay, so, yeah, they're building that. Uh, what did that do? Hold up. Uh, improves heavy anti-aircraft effectiveness. Okay, I don't think we have heavy anti-aircraft guns yet. Yeah, we are still losing money. There we go! Oh, come on! Yeah. Yeah, concessions. I will take that prestige hit. There we go. Tensions with the U.S. have reduced. Our monthly balance is now positive. I don't want to fight America. I want to fight Japan. Japan and France. But it's like, I keep... Because I keep getting screwed out of taking territory with when I fight Japan. For whatever reason, it keeps happening. Alright, aircraft types. Um, so, right now, we have the old fighter, we have the newer fighter. They're both roughly even. The game says nope. <laughs> Goes communist. I might be smarter at this point, honestly. Oh, wait, no. Just. So, our float. We have a 1924 float plane scout. Our flying boat's 1923. So, I'm going to request a proposal for a uh, flying boat. Probably with range and speed. Okay. I think it's time to get that replaced. Hmm. 10%. So, that would be four months off. I want to. We don't have the money to afford it, but I really, really want to. We'll take it. Fuck it, go for the win. Give me that prestige point. Halt it for a month. Yeah, take it, then halt it. Um... Okay. Back our ally. Okay, Sukhoi. Uh, max speed's lower, range is lower, bomb load's lower. Cancel. Alright. Resume construction for a turn. Uh, improve power? No thanks. Halt it for a turn. New docks completed. Dual purpose mountings. Enable 3 and 4 inch guns. Ooh. Alright, so new float plane scout. Lower max speed, lower range, lower bomb load. Stop with these offers! Wait another turn. Uh, protest the proposal. Right now, it's looking like France, actually. Um, yeah. Decrease tensions with Japan. Increase them with France. Uh, resume construction for a turn. Why? Why do you want to, uh... Why do you want to get rid of my alliance, Germany? I can't... Ah, oh, God, I'm gonna have to fight France on my own now, aren't I? I might be able to handle it, though. Um... Yeah, do that. Okay, new flying boat prototypes. Speed's better. Uh, range is way better. Bomb load's better. So, bottom one, best speed, best range, best toughness, best maneuverability, same bomb load as everything. Why would I pick a different one? <laughs> this reaction was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting annoyed with this save. This is the everything keeps going wrong to me save. Or I keep... I'm playing this well. I've been playing this well. But I'm getting screwed out of everything by the game. If I if I was if I was playing this not Iron Man, I would have reloaded a couple of times now. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, max speed 101. Yeah, that one's way better though. Alright, resume construction. No, Britain, no. No. Don't think about it, Britain. 
Uh, I can afford tensions with the U.S. being a little higher. Halt construction again. So we're kind of slowly building Ochakov. Um, I think it's time to get gunnery training in their doctrine. It's more to do a U.S. playthrough where you must take every single tension point at all times. You know what? That actually wouldn't be bad. Advanced signaling. Cool. Because the U.S. The U.S. is a nation you can play like that. You can play the U.S. like that. You might be able to play Britain like that as well. No other nation you can play like that. U.S. and U.K. You can. No other nation you can play like that. Yes. Do that. Okay. Okay. War with France is coming. So, this is mostly going to be fought up here. Definitely. In Northern Europe. Uh, so, I want to see a UK playthrough. Yeah. These ships are still pointless. Activate them, and I want to send them all the way to north, e all the way to Northeast Asia, just now. At the AI, absolutely screwing you every year. Oh, I'd rage quit completely. Uh, activate. Okay, all of our modern battle cruisers should be active. I'm about to take their colonies. UK joins the war. Yeah, that would that would be my luck. All right. So what do we have in Northeast Asia? Or all right. So we need. Okay, this guy will be in Northeast Asia. No, I'm not clicking the mobilization button. I don't want to mothball everything quite yet. I only want some of this, ma, or some of this in service. On the other hand, uh, all these guys are going to be reserved so that they work up a little bit better. Oh yeah, and now that Germany isn't my ally, I don't have access to new torpedo bombers! <laughs> so now I'm stuck with a 1920s design for my torpedo bomber. No way to upgrade it. Oh my god, I am... This is bad. This is really bad. Alright, so... Oh yeah, I was going to sort these out a little bit better. So we have some of these in Northeast Asia. So I probably want to keep Borodino there. Borodino will stay in Northeast Asia. I think, uh... This guy is going to move up to the Med. And we're probably going to put both of these ships here in the Mediterranean. And then in Northeast Asia, we'll have the Imperator Alexander II and the uh, these guys. Actually, you know what? I might move these guys to the Med as well. Okay, so Northeast Asia, what do we have? Um, okay, so Northern Europe. You have all these guys. Uh, so, ideally... This whole group would be on trade protection. Ideally. On the other hand, I have to rebuild all of these guys. Oh dear god. Game. Game. I am just bleeding money out right now. Halt construction for a turn. Uh, no thanks. The Biryev company has now offered us a new float plane scout. Uh, max speed is lower, range is lower, uh, bomb load is lower. Or same. Why does everybody want to offer me a crap float plane scout right now? I don't know. Open these guys for a rebuild. Just save it. Check, you can. Can I? I can? Torpedo bomber. Uh, range. Speed. Okay, I want to see something. So you have. Uh. Oh, yeah, check if you can. Okay, so you're still using. 
those guys as torpedo bombers. So we're going to change the number to 12 and change the number here to 12. Um, disband that torpedo bomber squadron and then we're going to do a half and half split. Alright, there we go. Alright, so all those guys are rebuilding. Good. Um, honestly, I'm going to need more destroyers in the upcoming war. Yes, buy it. I need money. Alright, uh, research. Alright, no, not research. Uh, what was it? Aircraft types. Okay, so our fighter is a few years old at this point. Yeah, we need a new fighter. Fighter. Uh, firepower and maneuverability. Yeah, all of them do. Um, I might just not bother with the refits to these. Uh, Chesneys could. Yeah. There we go. We'll do that to the Chesneys. Not putting mines on all KEs. I don't can I don't think you can do that. I th I don't think you can. I don't think it allows you to. And I think we saw that last time where it just didn't allow you to actually do that. It opened you guys for a rebuild as well, so we can do the same thing. Oh, actually, we need those dual purpose guns. Um. Oh, you can. Huh. Oh, can't do that. There we go. Rainbow has done it. Okay. Rebuild those guys. Oh, yeah. Rebuild the Stroinies as well. The later ones I think we can keep as is. Yeah, rebuild those. Yeah, our technology is so backwards. I was having better luck in the Austria save than this one. For whatever reason. Russia is a tougher nation to play than Austria. Right, give me the Latushis. And the uh, Moshinis. And a refit as well. Because I think I will need these 900 tonners in my fleet because I've kind of not prioritized building destroyers. Okay. Uh, they're not available. Increased depth charge storages though. But I forgot to put it on all these. So I am a moron. Because I am forgetful. Because I've been Somewhat stressed. Okay, so they... We are now getting data for French aircraft. I want Austria out of this again. Because Austria really likes getting involved for whatever reason. Can you stop getting involved, Austria? I don't want to fight you! Okay. Uh, Svetlana has now commissioned. Good. Alright, so all those have now finished their reconstruction. Yeah, resume construction on the second Retvizen. Alright, so destroyer-wise, um, all these guys will be on coastal patrol as just old destroyers. Um, so some of these are in Northeast Asia, some of these are in Northern Europe. Uh, I think conserve a bit of cash, keep those guys in the reserve fleet. Um, air groups, where are... You know what? Ships in service. So how, what do we have in Northern Europe right now? We have that group of battle crews. I actually think it's probably smart to move these guys back into North... Ah, uh, you know what? No. I want to keep something semi-strong in the med. So I'm going to move these guys into Northern Europe. An option for 50. Oh, that would actually be pretty good. So yeah, one of our goals... 
if we go to war with France, is to take Corsica. But what I want to do is I want to try to smash the French fleet somewhere up in here. So you smash the French fleet here. And yeah, they have a bunch of... Eh, okay, BCs and a BB. But yeah, if we can hit France hard up here... And then, you know, invade, that would be good. Can we please get more aircraft carrier technology? That's all I want, game. I want more aircraft carrier technology. You ain't seen a 1800 mini cruiser fight off a CL division? Yeah, no, I haven't. This game's really, really bad at giving me the technologies I want. For whatever reason, and I don't know why. Because that one's in Northeast Asia, it's... Probably going to be old here relatively soon. Yeah, CV would be really nice. I'm just not getting the technology for any of it. Alright, so that one's in Northeast Asia. That one's in Northern Europe. Um, I'm going to move this guy to the Med. Because there's not a lot of point to Northeast Asia. Because we're going to be up here and they're going to be down here. And we don't have the invasion range hit them. And they don't have the invasion range hit us. Um... So now the rest of these in the Mothball fleet will be moved to the Reserve fleet, and I am going to activate those guys. So now these guys are on Northeast Asia. They should all move to Northern Europe instantly. Uh, that's in the Med. Uh, I'm going to move maybe the Dianas into the Med with the Vladimir. Okay. So there's some of the stuff. Uh, maybe the charities. No. Alright, so. I'm not checking it right now. I, I need to focus on this. This uh, this has been a little bit more crazy of a game. Alright, so airbase. Uh, okay, I need to fill out some airbases here, actually. Alright, so Katero, uh Autobat Aircraft. Um, well, auto-add them at Zara as well. And then over here. Okay, so do we have any at, uh, Libau? Yeah, we do. Auto-add aircraft. Auto-add them to, uh, Riga as well. And then those are the last three regions. Uh, alright, so we have, we can add some to there. Hango, and there. I don't think, do we have an airbase at Kronstadt? Uh, no we don't. We could get one there though, just in case the engagement goes that way. I think I will. Ships under construction, halt it for a turn. Uh, I'm going to let them do that, as that's another potential territory I can take from them. How much is it worth? Value 4. Go to high spying on France. We'll go another turn here. Alright, so all these guys are active. We have way too many in Northeast Asia, though, so that's where that squadron should probably stay there. Um, this squadron's gonna move into the Mediterranean, and then I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the two, uh, Bovies in the Med as well, and then that gives me something of a force in Northern Europe. There we go, new training's applied. Yeah, let's do it. War has broken out between Russia and France. Let's go. Fleet battle down here. Okay. Fine gives them 300 VP. This could be a chance to win. We have six numbers in terms of battle crews and battleships are even. Okay. So battle crews are wise. What do we have? 814s, 814s. No, 8.15s, two 8.15s, three 8.14s, uh, let's see, good, 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 fair and fair, 
and then... Wait, no, that one's in Northeast Asia. So two 14s, two 15s, and then two of those guys also on fair, and those guys aren't quite as good. Except... Attack enemy ships in general. It's not like they're gonna see them or anything. Alright, so... We did get all of our battle cruisers here. You guys... Group up on our battle cruisers as a core division. We're going to be able to move at about 26 knots, I believe. These guys are only 26. The uh, Imperator Alexander II. Alright, so then... Yeah, these are our cruisers. So what are they doing? They're formed up on Kinburn as a core. No. Support. You should not be formed up on Pallada as a core. You can form up on that one as a support group. And then you are our CVL. Alright, so CVL. Okay, so that's 12 out of 15 there. Alright. Ready the strike. As you know, ready them both. How soon is it going to be night? It's morning right now. So we want to try to hit them with the torpedo bombers. I'm a little worried, though. So you are a scout. Good. And that's probably that guy right there, too. And then I assume those destroyer divisions are formed up on the... On those guys. All right. Should wait. Can we... Ready that plane. Ready that single float plane. Which I think is on uh, Navarin, maybe? Yeah, that's on Navarin. The Imperator Pavels don't have float planes. Only Navarin has one. Okay, so my hope is that the gunnery training's gonna help a lot. Is our float plane ready to take off? No. Are our torpedo planes ready to take off? No. Okay. Have we found anything yet? No. Do we have any torpedo planes ready to take off yet? Nope, we don't. Sea state limits ship speed. How fast are we limited to? 26 knots. Actually, that's not bad. That means we can... We're limited to our slowest speed. Based on these guys right here. Uh, spotted enemy units over there. Okay, so we have you. Um, I'm launching one plane! One plane! And the strike exceeds the deck load! Go there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, launch it. Yeah, you guys. So you guys are... Yeah, that strike exceeds the deck load. <laughs> So we spotted them down here. Launch that strike. And then you guys also go there and launch. Just as a covering force. Okay, so they are down this way. So, okay, so whatever that is, we're identifying it as a BC or BB. That is a CA of the Montcalm class turn. And this should form up our division well on the enemy. Is that? I don't know what that is. It's saying CAs. We've hit the Montcalm. It's saying that's a BC. Turn this way. Yep, that's all of the enemy uh, battleships and battle cruisers. Can you target the uh, Duquents, please? Yeah, that's eight 13-inch guns. Oh, okay, so we took a hit, but it wasn't a penetrating hit to the belt extended. And we scored a hit on the... Uh, Dukens. Oh, one of our... That battlecruiser misunderstood our signals. Good job. And that destroyed it as well. Okay, we took a belt extended hit, caused a little bit of flotation damage. Hit that Montcalm again. Yeah, we have 15s. 
Yeah, that's my hope. I don't know what that is specifically. Have we launched the planes? That looks like a bunch of cruisers over there. Nah, Navarin took a critical hit to the bridge. Darn it! Is our strike underway? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good. Six planes are approaching enemy ships. Alright, we are hitting... Okay, so this is the rest of their battle cruisers right here. So that's uh, their Torville classes, 8.5 inch belt, 10 inch turrets. These actually do have a higher turret than their belts. Uh, 9 13 inch guns. 9 13s. Uh, I think that is very, very misidentified. All Capitans is dead. Yep, and then a, another uh, Duquez, Duquesne's class. But then we got that guy leading. So this is... Okay, there's their battleship over there. With 12 14-inch guns. That's the scary one. I'm going to pull the squadron off just a little bit this way. Um, are we getting any torpedo hits on them? I don't think we did. Alright, so that ship's retreating with light damage. Um, how much did we do to it? Uh, looked like we disabled one, destroyed a turret, disabled another. Um, now these guys are pursuing. Uh, I'm hoping Navarin reforms with her group soon. So yeah, Navarin should be a core on them, and then you guys should be probably a core for now, at the very least, on Navarin. Yeah, you guys... No, you guys fire at the Torville. Uh, Kinburn took a hit. Uh, belt extended hit, and a haul hit. Not super concerned. Okay, Kinburn, another belt extended hit. These belt extended hits are what's doing us in. Kinburn high speed increases flooding. So these guys seem to be firing at these guys right here. That Charles Martel is t only a 20 knot ship. So I'm hoping that we're going to win this fight here. Alright, so what are you guys following now? You guys are independent. No, follow on that. Follow on them. Follow on Kinburn as a core. Unfortunately, she has taken a heavy hit. Um, if we turn on lines of fire... Yeah, they're all firing at them. For whatever reason. Uh, AI controlled. Crew speed. How bad's the flooding? 125. Actually, you know what? Continue at squad max. Turn that way. Uh, you guys. Turn. Okay. Do we have any torpedo planes back yet? Nope. Just some unready fighters. Okay, so that Torville is badly damaged. They're now firing at this division. Good. Alright, so... I'll go back under AI control. Form up on uh, Kinburn. You turn this way for now. Use the float planes as bombers. I have one float plane in total. Um, and it's on the battlecruiser division. Okay, there's the torpedo bombers. Yeah, ready them up. Alright, so Imperator Pavel 1 took a belt penetrating hit. We scored two more hits on one of the Torvilles, though. They're looking in worse shape than we are. Especially that one. Imperator Alexander II limits flooding. So is that that guy up there? Yeah, it is. Good, they're limiting their flooding. They're controlling it. That is one bomber you are not using. It was already launched is the problem. We launched it as a scout. 
and we're kind of in battle right now, so it's not like we can pick it up, really. Alright, so that... That Torville is very, very badly damaged over here. Okay, that one's pulled out of formation. Unfortunately, yeah, that battleship's coming around on uh, Kinburn. So you guys need to kind of go this way. Alright, launch a flotilla attack right now. Turn that way. Alright. Yeah, they're pretty crippled. Alright, I'm going to put you back under AI control form up to try to form up with this division again. And, uh... I'm going to do this sort of turn right here to try to, uh... hit that battleship. Turn this way. Right, so we're still hitting the Torville. Our ships here still appear to be holding up. Alright, yeah, we need to shoot that Charles Martel and just take it out. Cancel the flotilla attack order. Oh, we have launched a large number of torpedoes at this enemy formation right here. Uh, it looks like they did turn away, though. But it looks like we got another group of torpedoes heading out. And have caused some confusion. We're going to go 24 knots. Let our other ships uh, stay caught up. So it looks like their battle cruisers are trying to get away. They had a seaplane carrier up in here. Did we get our torpedo bombers ready? Yes, we did. So launch them there. Yeah, okay. Don't jinx it, G-Man! Do not j- Oh, you're- You're wanting me to suffer a flash fire, not them. Alright. Uh, retarget onto those two, uh... No, not that one. That one. Retarget onto them. I need to check up on our battle cruisers here. Okay, Imperator Alexander II's controlled her flooding. She is capable of making 24 knots. Uh, Kinburn's controlled her flooding. She's also only capable of 24. We're gonna slow down to 23. And that will allow them to catch up. Alright, so we're now shooting at those guys. Score to hit. Scored more hits. Oh, they have for they've been forced to turn into our formation. Ah, uh, Svetlana took a waterline hit belt extended. Caused a bit of flooding. I did that to Rainbow and he lost to PC because of it. Oh no. Alright. 50% of ammo remaining. Yeah. Flotilla attack, now! They're in a good position. Oh. This might be... I'm hoping this is a good chance to knock out some enemy uh, warships. It looks like our flotilla... Nope, they've, they've screwed up the opportunity. Well... Most of the enemy forces are down here, and the battlecruiser forces are over here. Turn this way, then. Because that, that ship right there has slowed down a lot with heavy damage. He is now scared when you say it. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Come on. Uh, we were trying to torpedo bomb them. Uh, two torpedo... Oh! I think you got your flash fire! <laughs> oh, six-year-old torpedo bombers just sank a heavy cruiser. I am happy with that. Alright, so... That Torville class 
now has approach now is being approached by our ships. Now, one interesting thing I can do, I'm going to take manual control of these guys for a turn, and I'm going to order them to shoot at that ship over there. Alright, turn this way. No, go back to AI control. Okay, so that's... One of our destroyers just launched, uh, torpedoes. I don't know which one. Which torpedo... Or which destroyer launched... Tor that one did. Hey, we hit it! Yeah, it slowed. Ah, that... I think that one's dead. Uh... Start firing at... Those guys down there. Alright, cancel the flotilla attack order. Honestly, I don't know how that one's still afloat, but... Because it's still turning, but... You know, it's very, very badly damaged at this point. Alright, squad max. Alright, so we're rescuing survivors from the Montcalm class. That Torville class is dead. Another goes right after you again. I want salt. Alright, so that's, uh... I want that Dukens class, which was, uh... This guy? Yeah, I want that one. He's in range. Sink it! There's blood in the water! My battle plan revolves around taking out the French fleet and then invading Corsica. France right now has how many? Six battle cruisers and one battleship. We are cert. Okay, so they have one Dunkirk, which I have not seen in this engagement. They have the Charles Martel, which is in this engagement. They have the two Dukenses, both of which are in this engagement, and the three Torvilles, all three of which are in the, in the or are in this engagement, and one of those three is currently sinking. Um, okay, so are they... The Charles Martel has turned against us again. Um, aim, re-aim at it, and turn. Okay, that battlecruiser has slowed down now as well. There is baguettes and white flags in the water. Yes! Scored a hit on the Charles Martel. Go another on the Charles Martel. It's still running. Uh, we want to... Can we hit the other... That guy. Yeah. So where are they running to right now? They're probably running to France. Does feel really risky keeping my ships out here. Just as I say that, that happens. Uh, how it, do we have any more torpedo bombers ready? Yes, we do. Ready another strike. Okay, so we've sighted an unknown ship. They're still running away from us there. Charles Martel is hit. Um, I'm going to turn this way here. And, uh, okay, we're still shooting that Charles Martel up pretty badly. So this will put us in a good position to take out both of these battle cruisers. Uh, oh, that is a very slow ship down there. Uh, are our torpedo planes ready? Yes, they are. Alright, launch them, uh... I'm gonna say launch them here. Uh, 
Alright, those uh, friend me classes are coming up at us, though. Um, so we're shooting at that Dukens right there. Turn hard. Get away from them. Alright, I think we've done it. Turn back around. Okay, so we're currently shooting at that one. So our carriers are up there. We're at very low ammo now. We scored multiple hits on that one. I'm going to order a flotilla attack. Alright. But yeah, we are running way too low on ammo. Nope, it's... Much as I want to take out these ships, I'm not fully sure we can. Try to see if you can uh, hit that one still. Oh, actually, wait. This is all going in. So that guy's still crippled and alone. Which is actually probably what I want. Uh, okay, so we're attacking. Enemy ship unsighted is hit by a torpedo! Wait, what? An enemy ship there? Oh god, no! No, they struck the already sinking one! Wait, that was up there, I think. Okay, so that ship's kind of still sitting there. That Charles Martel's kind of coming back around on us. Our destroyer division is currently uh, pushing in. And we're currently leaving behind our other battle cruiser division here. Yeah, it. What's that? That's the ship they hit. There's a seaplane tender still up over here. That's what they hit. Or an escort of it. Yeah, they probably hit one of its escorts. That's like right by my carrier formation. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have a lot to deal with that. Well, you guys are a scout. I'm going to switch you to a support group. But I'm going to have you form up on our carrier now. Alright, come on. So yeah, we know that that ship's damaged. And that we can just go up there any time and take it out. Okay, they're trying a flotilla attack on us right now, I think. No. Nope. Scoring hits on the Charles Martel. That's something else running away. Scoring more hits on the Charles Martel. That might be a CA division. Okay, more hits on the Charles Martel. And another. It's only saying light damage, though. That thing has some pretty uh, strong armor on it. Wish the gunners would hit something. They're, I mean, they're hitting, they're just not doing a lot of damage. Now, we know that there's still a battle cruiser up here. Which we can put down. I guess I'm getting a little greedy with this engagement. Yeah, it's going to be nighttime here soon. Um, yeah, pick up survivors from whatever unsighted ship that was. Uh, actually, we took a four aft hull hit. That's got to be that Charles Martel shooting back. Where are we sighting these unknown ships at? Up here. Pervinets is chasing them away. Kill the lone BC. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're getting any of this. Oh, well, that Charles Martel, we keep shooting up. Ha, turn up. Turn away. All 
Actually, you know what? How is our uh, how are our torpedo bombers looking? Yeah, no, they'd land at night now. I don't think we're gonna launch them very well. Go up there at 23 knots. Use your other BC. It's it's. I, I'm just leaving these guys. I can't operate them that far away. I'm playing on uh, rear admirals mode, so you know it's somewhere up here. Is all we know. Now, I am going to reassign you as a scout division. Help me scout these guys up here. Oh, come on. Go up this way and find that lone battle cruiser again. There it is. It has slowed a lot. time to uh, finally sink it. There we go, it's it's going down. Okay, now it's going to be night time. If we can... Uh... You know, I don't want to lose any ships. France is closer to their coast. I'm just going to detach. We sink two French battlecruisers here. And we're going to head this way. Just disengage. So it looks like we have, like, Three ships just kind of going this way, which are all either damaged or lost. Yeah. Alright, that is a victory, I would say. Yeah, two French battlecruisers sunk, two heavily damaged, one battleship, French battleship with medium damage, and one French battlecruiser with light damage. So, the uh, battlecruiser uh, Marseille, multiple 15-inch hits, and then... Yeah, it just took a lot of 15-inch hits, and then was lost her machinery, and then, or from the torpedo hit, got it repaired actually pretty quickly. Oh, machinery was lost again, then it took more hits and was sinking. Uh, Battlecruiser Lil, um, that was hit by multiple, two, multiple things. Didn't actually take that many hits, and was already pretty heavily flooding. It was trying to limit the flooding, and was detached, and then it got shot up again here, and shot up a bit more, and then we came back, and just shot it twice more and it sank. Uh, the uh, heavy cruiser Bruix took two torpedoes from our uh, or from the uh, DO 96Bs and took a magazine hit uh, instantly destroying the ship. Uh, Dukens had 11 flooding at the end but managed to survive and had taken multiple hits. Yeah, good fight. Uh, Torville also had a bit of flooding at the end, taking multiple hits. Um, probably a bulkhead rupture. A lot of uh, heavy hits there. Charles, Mar Charles Martel uh, destroyed turret. Uh, didn't take quite as much damage, but did def some of those 15 inch hits definitely did do damage. Uh, CA Montcalm, that was the first one we engaged. It took several. It took like a few heavy hits and some medium hits, which caused some flooding. Uh, and then we get into our battle cruisers, which took relatively light damage in that engagement. Oh, yeah, that was the other French battle cruiser, the Torville class. That was the one. Oh, this one lost electric power, so it must have stopped for a little bit and then later resumed. Uh, what did? Okay, there was another ship which we hit with. Okay, this one took two torpedo hits. So where, what were the two? So it was sinking then. So it took the torpedo engine room hit from there. Why'd it take two? Where's the second torpedo hit on it? Was it earlier? It took all those superstructure hits. And, uh... Super... I don't, I don't see another... Oh, there... No, no, that's the same one. The end. Oh, no, no, it took two torpedo engine room hits from destroyers. Okay, that was it. What else got hit? I think we falsely reported a uh, torpedo hit. So they had uh, one AV, I think, as well. But yeah, I'll take that. You know, nice major victory. All their ships were sailing down that way. Yeah. Good battle. 
the Battle of the North Sea, and now anything which is in the reserve fleet should immediately be activated, like these two guys. Um, all of these guys should be instantly put on trade protection. All of these guys should be instantly put on trade protection. Alright, so ships under construction. We have those guys going. Uh, so right now we can blockade France well selecting Corsica as an invasion target. Now one more thing I want to do is I want to have another class of 1500 ton destroyers and I think this is more important than continuing construction on our uh, remaining battle cruisers. Alright, we don't have enough uh, extra weight to do that. Uh, let's decrease to keep that one as a four torp tube move the bring the aft two to three so that gives us uh eight plus six fourteen torps yeah fourteen torpedoes which is pretty pretty respectable yeah build it Just do that design um air groups all right so Value of Vostok doesn't have any. I don't think we need any over there at all. No, I'm not checking the 18,000 ton theory. Alright. Unfortunately, our invasion range up here isn't good enough to hit any of these targets down here, so I'm hoping to get them in war reparations. Uh, so yeah, save. Time to go on to the next turn, then. Secondary director. Oh, now I get it. Oh, now I get that! Oh, that, that, okay. I must have skipped conversion technology. New fighter prototypes already for evaluation, which means that after this war, these two are definitely going to be scrapped. I think I'll keep the Imperator Alexander II's around a little longer, though, because even though those are only six-gun ships, um, they're still 26 not capable. They're still the same as the uh, Nias Potemkins. I think these four ships I have to get rid of all at the same time. Um, but yeah, after this war... These ships are gone. Hell, I might even just scrap them now. Honestly. Um, or, or, you know what? No, I could do carrier conversions with them. Because I think my carrier size is still going to be pretty limited. Um, yeah, okay, so new fighters. Max speed's better. That one... I think that one's the best. Even if its range is lower. But it has the best firepower and the best maneuverability. Get it? Uh, convoy attack. Yeah, I th actually am now thinking it's probably smart to convert them. Because that'll be quicker. Might get me a uh, fleet carrier for this war. One forces in the air. Two BCs. They have deployed... Okay, um, the two BCs we have here are the uh, Nia's Potemkins with eight 12-inch guns and pretty heavy armor. However, we would be going up against three enemy battle cruisers, which that's risky. But we have a CVL in the area, yeah. But our torpedo bombers are nineteen twenty vintage. Eh. And our ports are over here, their ports are over here. No. Yes. Take the cruiser engagement. Okay, so we need to sink two ships, apparently. Do we see them? Objective. There we go. What are you? CL. Please be a CL. Please be a CL. Please be a CL. Yes, it is. Only one. Wait, our objective is to sink two ships, but there's only... Wait. Oh, there are more enemies. What are they? Oh, fuck. No. 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 Run. Run. Now. No. Yeah, this is a bad engagement. How fast are they? 29 knots. Sea state limits the ship speed, though, to what? 26. Alright, so the ideal direction to escape is this way. How soon is it going to be night? Pretty soon. 
yeah, this would have been a good battle with BCs, but we didn't get them, unfortunately. All right, you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to move um, one BC, or one more BC into the med. I might actually try to take the one out of Northeast Asia. All right, turn that way. Turn that way. Cruise speed, turn that way. Yeah, okay, so that engagement was uh, pretty indecisive. Yeah. France got a... Oh, it was a draw. Okay, a new destroyer design is ready for building. Get us four of them. Yeah, now we're starting to lose money. They are blockaded, though. When do you think you'll end the stream? Maybe about 12-ish? Um, I, I want to keep tabs on when the uh, Falcon Heavy is going to go up. But yeah, that's now at 1.30. So I think 12-ish is probably a good time for me to end the stream. And right now, you can see the time. So, yeah. Alright, so, France is currently blockaded. Um, what's the state here? We have a, a, a numerical advantage in the med. Um, I don't think we can get our ship back easily, though. Yeah, no, we can't. So, I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking we send... We're going to send Borodino down into the med. I think that will give me a sufficient advantage. Unfortunately, I am losing a lot per turn. Nice. Um, we lost, They are engaging in fairly successful submarine warfare. Cruiser action down there. Uh, they don't have a lot of ships. I will accept that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, unknown ship sighted. Oh, it's at night. Ah, oh, crap, it's the light cruiser action. Turn that way. That's a destroyer. I don't know what we're going up against here. It's saying a CA. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it tried... Yeah, that was a CA. Turn you away. There we go. Torpedoes are launched. Turn away. Now they're going to try to chase us. Turn that way again. Ah, what state is Pilata in? Still one flooding. Ah, yeah. Stay with us. And then turn back. You know, they're trying to keep us up. Squad max is now 24 knots, unfortunately. I want to disengage. And head there. At max speed. Squad max, go 23. Alright, go to cruise speed. Oh, squad max, squad max, run! All right. Now, do we have one CL spotted over there? They're moving this way. Go back to cruise speed. I'm hoping we can get some torp bombers out on these guys or something. Yeah, I feel I feel like the chance of skipping torpedo bombers is a little too high. I've heard people reporting on the forums that torpedo bombers are skipped too often and it makes carriers, you know, kind of useless. Okay, there we go. So we survived that. They got a minor victory because we don't have any heavy cruisers and they keep winning because we don't have any heavy cruisers. Unfortunately, we are now losing a lot of money. So, uh... Halt. That's not... Halt that for a turn. 
Nice! We've invaded, uh, Corsica. Twin dual purpose mounts. That's good. Uh... Yeah, create them for... That. New torpedo bomber is in... American service. So, cruiser battle... Down there. It's large. So we have five. They have two BB, two BC. We'll accept. Even though this is... Ha! Stop telling me these are large battles and giving me light cruisers! For Pete's sake! We just want to run away. Okay, they're that way. Alright, good night, G-Man. Oh my god, stop it with this bullcrap. I'm getting punished for not having any CAs, I will say. So I think after this war it is... The lesson learned is... Build CAs. What? Um... What? Did we have merchants out in this area which just got sunk? Now, I don't think this is exactly the best area to be in, so we'll just, uh... We'll just kind of hide. Ah, we'll stay up here. I'm a little worried about enemy airfields spotting us. And planes coming after us. That's a little, little worrisome. Oh my god, we need... Come on, get us through this engagement. Just one... There we go, now it's night time. Um, just... No, no, don't hide in there. I don't want to get trapped if things go bad. Unless we're just sailing through the English Channel now. To run away. There we go. Yeah, they just sank two traitors of ours. Why did we even have traitors by France? Eh. That was bullshit. How are... What? No! How if We're blockaded? What? What's this 1BB and 3BCs? How are we blockaded? No! Alright, but we are invading, uh... Corsica, though, so that should hopefully force France to respond over there. Uh, we need to just get a good engagement where we can sink some French ships. Our new fighter is ready for service. We lost a, uh, that thing. No. We are not taking that cruiser battle. Nor are we take. <sighs> no. Yes. Okay. Um, that happened like that. Where has France moved their ships? Uh, okay, we're doing a little bit better over here now. Halt it another turn. Crush them completely? Thank you. Yes! Attack that convoy in support of land combat. Okay, so we only get destroyers here. Alright. So I don't know what those guys are. It's saying CLs. Alright. Enemy CL is hit by a torpedo. Silni uh, rammed one. Okay, how fast can you go? Are you still getting back up to speed again? Yep. So there's that for me class. Okay, so we're currently... Yeah. Hitting all those guys there. Okay. Why? Can you guys please... Are we about... Are we about to lose two destroyers to ramming merchants? Like, 
god! What? What? What the hell are Russian captains on? Vodka. How, how much vodka have they had to drink today? I think that's the real question. So that one's on fire. Bovoy, I want you on AI control. Alright, so that one has stopped moving. Silni is just currently sitting there. Yeah. Okay, that's an enemy escort. Yeah, Silni sank. Alright, we are not seeing anything here. Oh, God. What the hell's going on today? Okay, so... Merchants were kind of... Yeah, there they are. These guys are merchants, right? Yeah. There you go. Hit that trader. Alright, so there's another one up over here. We should remember that. Yep. We have now lost two destroyers to ramming merchants. We're identifying that as an AMC. That was a small merchant. Yeah, that was going fast before we caught up to it, for whatever reason. So there's one somewhere over here-ish now. So that one's sinking. So we spotted one, like, about here. Maybe over this way? Come on. Yep. What's over... Did it run that way? I fully don't know where this other merchant went. Where is it? Well, it could be running to St. Florence, so it could be headed this way. Alright, now it's daytime and we can... Uh... Yeah, okay, there we go. So, we lost two destroyers, we sank... We actually sank an enemy light cruiser. The enemy had light cruisers escorting that formation. And we sent in three destroyers and sank one of them. Along with 12 merchants. So ZL uh, Galilee yeah, took a torpedo hit from uh, Bovi and then detached and sank. And then we lost Silni. Because Silni... Okay, Silni was shot to death by uh, Cosmau after ramming a merchant. And then... Bovoy um, took several hits, and then it rammed a merchant and was badly damaged. But other than that, you know, we sank 12 merchants. Where had they gone to, by the way? So they were down over here, so they were running this way. I'll take it. I think that's a victory. That is a victory. And that should uh, help with Corsica. Alright, cruiser engagement, unexpected battle. It's a medium. Flipping course, it's a medium. And it's at night, and it's two light cruisers. Do any of you have good torpedoes? Nope. Turn this way. Cross their T. And run. Goodbye. Ah. Oh, it's going to be daytime soon. Keep running. Guess we're going to Norway now. Yeah, just keep running. We just we can't fight. We we can't hold up a fight there. Yeah, in the scenario. All right, so that that actually only was light cruisers, and they got a marginal victory out of it for whatever reason. Um. Okay, so our monthly balance is going up a little bit. Uh, resume construction for a turn, I suppose. Save. Fighting continues in Corsica. Inclined belt. 
Motorboat torpedo squadrons, that's good. Yes, in the southern Baltic? Yeah, do that. Take it. Please be bat- <gasps> It's a finally a battle cruiser engagement! Alright, ready them. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, so we spotted something over this way. Uh, we don't have... Yeah, we only have the carry division, uh, so Navarin is not part of this. Which battlecruisers? Oh, okay, one of our good ones and one of our crappy ones. I'll take it. Okay, so we are spotting something over here. Something fires at a Vazni class destroyer. We're getting more reports from this direction here. None f okay, there's an unidentified ship. Speed up. What is it? Let's see. Torval class battlecruiser. Right there. How do we have. Oh, so that's only one plane right there. So I ready them up, but you guys... It's not going to be night soon, is it? No. Oh, we actually have a support force. Another battlecruiser division. So hopefully they can get involved. So the Torville is there. Um, we're probably going to engage it. It's probably going to run roughly this way. So I'm going to put my plane attack here. Launch the strike. Just in case, I want you to go that way as well. Immediately. Okay, how is our aft gun firing? I don't think it would from this angle. Now it is. And yeah, now we have all of our guns firing at it. At the uh, Tourville class. And we are scoring hits against it. You know, if we can sink another... Uh, French BC. How's France doing? Uh, they're not currently building any BCs or BBs, so that's good. So that's probably the light cruiser down there. So this Torville's actually gotten closer to us. Let's close the range. It's closing the range more. Like, it's... It's in torpedo range now. This guy has decided to get into. Now that that's risky for us, but it is 1v2 and we have 15 inch guns and a heavier belt and heavier armor. So I don't... Yeah. We're bouncing shots. We're, we're still bouncing shots from this ship. Um, we took a hull pass through hit and a belt extended medium hit and scored another 3 on the Torville. So our... Our strike's going this way. There's your flash fire, G-Man. Wish you were here to see it. Alright. Oh, we got another ship over here. Oh, well, there's another ship. Okay, those are identified as light cruisers, both of them. So those are probably scouts. Okay, so that Tage class is hit. And again. Yeah, the more of these ships we take out, that's... Oh, that's a seaplane carrier right there. Yeah. How fast is it? Only 20 knots. Yeah. Put your fire into these light cruisers first. Oh, we took a superstructure hit. What's our squad max right now? Still 26 knots. Yeah, that Tage class is crippled. Switch to the, uh... Charter knot. Oh, hey! There's Kinburn! Ready to join us. Alright, so. so. That Tage class is apparently still firing at us. But. 
Take out the other cruiser. Oh god. Enemy aircraft are approaching us. What enemy aircraft? Brigitte level bomb that. Uh, bomb hit on the destroyer Smet. Uh, Smet Levy. Uh, that, that's damaged. Certainly. And they're level bombing still. Okay, there we go. Now we're scoring hits on this other CL. So I think survivors from that Torville are going to get picked up. No, we want... Don't waste your ammo on that one. Sink this one. You know what? We're battle cruisers. Hunt it down. There we go. We scored a hit. And another. And another. And another. And another. And another. And another. Alright, go this way. And the AV is going to be somewhere over here. Yeah, this is... Yeah. What happened? There's some message I saw. I think we're low on ammo. There we go. Now we're scoring hits. I don't know why we weren't scoring hits there for a moment, battle cruisers. Come on, keep shooting it. Yeah, it's dead. Hold fire. Yeah, go chasing that AV down. Do we have any, uh, torpedo bombers? Yeah, ready them up. I think they've only got float planes here. Say we're headed, uh... Yep, there it is. Hello, friend! How you doing? Are you ready to be... Met with battle cruisers? Probably not. But unfortunately, you're about to sail into the uh, coast of or the German coast, Prussian coast, whatever. Hello. All right, we're holding fire. Don't hold fire anymore. Hello. We wanted to make it a bit of a fair fight. It doesn't have torpedoes. We can get in like as close as we want. Hey, friend. You know what? Hold fire. Who wants to see if we can get a uh, torpedo kill in a battle cruiser? Oh, it's it's already sinking. Never mind. Um. Okay, so that's sinking. There we go. So we lost that destroyer, which they bombed. Um, but an enemy battle cruiser. It was sunk and exploded, and an enemy CL, or two enemy CLs, we hunted with the battle cruisers, and then we sank their AV. And for all that, we lost a destroyer. And they actually suffered more operational losses than we, or more aircraft losses than we did. Um, lost on ground slash ship, yeah, 10, because we sank that AV. Sink any two, or sink two ships, any ship, failed. Yep. And ship loss differential, massive... Lee favored us. I really should have checked out what had happened to that battle cruiser, but so battle of the Southern Baltic. I'll, I'll take it as a victory, just as is. All right. Uh, I want to get Tretvizen done, but it's so difficult to do. All right. So we're gonna get another uh, two thousand this month. So yeah, right now it's kind of like back and forth and back and forth. And now France is blockaded. That is good, and our invasion of Corsica is still going as planned. And if we can get Corsica, we might be able to uh, invade Tunisia as well. Yes! Corsica! We got it! And our submarine torpedoed and sank a French light cruiser! Um, small cruiser action. It's not saying they have any CAs in the area. Uh, medium cruiser action up in the Baltics. Um, I think that is a good enough engagement to take. It is only our CLs though, but we have some destroyer... Oh, oh, that ship's... That... That's one of those awkward enemy destroyer spawns right there. So this is kind of gamey sinking this ship. 
But, you know... It's the game's fault for being bugged. Plus, it is still expending all my ammo, but... Oh, it's gonna be nighttime anyway, so yeah. Yep, it's sinking. Alright. Yeah. Detach. I'm just kinda holding that area. Go to go down to cruise speed. There we go. So identified it as an enemy CL. Uh turn this way. Broadside to it. Just go to hit. Yeah, it is an enemy CL. Cool. Sink it. Put it down. Uh, Pallada took a belt penetration. Took another hit. Uh, now we score a hit. And now it's night time. Hunt it down. Hunt it down, please. Do we see it? I don't see it. Oh crap, there's two of them! Turn! Flotilla attack, now! Oh, that's gotta be a CA division. Alright, so we have destroyers with us. So that was a 9-inch hit. So yeah, this is definitely an enemy CA division. Um, cross... Can we get our destroyers involved, please? Alright, so... There we go. Oh, that didn't work. And Pilata's rudder is jammed, I'm taking it. Alright. Pilata, what's our squad max? 12 knots. Alright, cancel the flotilla attack. How damaged is Slavni? Pretty damaged, uh... Let's head this way. Try to get into port. How fast can Slavni move? Uh, 11 knots. We'll go 10. Let her catch up. Alright, so a couple ship, a couple of our ships were crippled. We sank an enemy DD. Um, I was hoping to get a torpedo hit on the enemy, but not to be. We're not skilled at night fighting, and we're not skilled in uh, torpedo warfare, so... Just wasn't gonna happen. And... Yeah, so we'll get into uh, Riga here. And I think after this, I am going to call the live stream. Although I, I should be careful with what I say, because eventually this is going to get turned into YouTube episodes, and I want them to be nice and clean. So yeah, marginal victory to us. We did damage their uh, CAs pretty well. Um, Hotha, we actually took out a turret on one of them. And uh, actually took out a turret on both of them. And then yet again, we just sink at the beginning, but yeah. Uh, that could have gone better, that could have gone worse. And yeah, on top of this, uh... Yeah. We're still blockading them. Sinking more ships is good. Can we invade Tunisia? Yes, we can. Alright, and with that, I think I will, uh... Actually, wait. Yeah, with that, I will, uh, see you guys later. I know I was talking there, I was trying to hold off on just a moment so I could have a clean ending to this, but... Apparently not. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys later then. Next stream we will return to fight France some more. Goodbye.